Yo, what's up, Fascio? First person up in here. As usual. <laughs> How you guys doing today? Yeah, yeah, definitely first. Yeah, I'm just practicing a little Tekken 7 for no reason at all. But I'm um, going to um, pull up that video. Because I know you guys saw me upload the um, original reaction, you know, when it was live and everything. But I didn't, like, pay attention to it. Didn't really go into detail or anything like that. So um, that's just what I wanted to do today. And just chat with you guys about that and see what you guys think about Tekken 8. So uh, I'm not I'm not as um, you know pessimistic about it as I originally was, but not too far from it. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Jack Fro, Darian Aratangi, uh, J Zero, No, Amir, Yusef, Sir All Night, Jack Fro, Turk Easy. Yo, what's up, Turk? Danielle Evans, what's up, dude? What is your only no. bro get out of here we don't do that here yo jaguars vice you're a um really good king player right yeah i think i've seen you on uh youtube before lots of uh death battles against a crazy marduk jaguars vice yo shout outs to you what's going on what characters you struggle against everybody at this point <laughs> you said the mechanics are on another level now yeah i think so yeah i don't know i mean you know i think that um they just made Tekken a little bit more um difficult to master All right, um, Faisal, bye. Have a good one. You feel like King is going to be top tier in Tekken 8? Well, so far, I don't think so. But of course, it's too early. We don't know what his new moves are. Because I think that's, that's really going to make the biggest difference to see if, like, you know, down forward 2-1 is still the same how counter hits work on that game and everything we'll have to just wait and see because um yeah that heat is kind of is kind of deep that's what i'm thinking you got a master king first for the Tekken 8 mechanics you know it hey revered ruler is kazuya you're so pumped <laughs> just doing a difficult combo for no reason i don't i don't know though facio we'll have to see so i want to look at that video again with you guys and um like really really pay attention because there are some things that um well there's a lot of things that happened in that 30 minute video that um gave us a really good idea of like character strengths and changes to the characters like paul there was so much that paul did that was new let me look for example yeah i saw um saw something real interesting with his uh while standing two and his magic four there were like two different things yeah you see that it launches like a down forward two now yeah so they got rid of the um that crazy tailspin there where you have to like death frame it yeah you have to do it at the last second yeah I don't even know how to do it yeah there it is did you see that he doesn't have to go for any of that crap anymore. Taking eight isn't out yet. 
Yeah, this stream today, guys, is just to um, discuss what we have seen, what they have showed us. You know, that's all that we're going to do. We're going to look at that and um, start the fun stuff, which is speculations. <laughs> yeah, because Paul, yeah, that that is a pretty big buff. So, yeah, that buffs his while standing punishment by a mile. But we did see a nerf. Magic 4 doesn't launch them on counter hit. And he did that in heat. You would think it would be like um, upgraded or something. But yeah, they just hold their face and fall. But I'm thinking Paul would still be able to convert with like while standing 3-2 or something. But I have no idea um, how even this move is going to look. If he didn't already do it in the uh, trailer. But that's why we're going to look at the trailer. Yeah, I'm going to wait until some more people get in here. And then we can really start to um, look at the video. Then we're going to look at the Nina trailer again too. And um, talk about her. Because she looks really, really, really good. It's all good. What's up, um, King Z Games? He had a version that did that uppercut. Yeah, yeah, it seems like all the, the stuff you guys, I know you guys have been like on Twitter and you or like YouTube, you see these like, like these Tekken 7 modders, they have like bounds and uh, tail spins. And we freaking got that as a reality in Tekken 8. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? New outfits, a little bit over-designed. Nina did sidestep one plus two. Well, got hands, I don't know about that one. She um she sidestepped his uh back four, which that's not really a move to sidestep and say oh you got good movement. Let me let me let me um see if I can test this out right now. <laughs> Who's, who has the... Yeah, I think the Bears, yeah, they, they definitely have the worst um, sidesteps in the game. Where they shouldn't be able to sidestep Lars back for, but if they do, then you already know what's up. Yeah, so they can only go right. Yeah, so, um... That's not a move to brag about stepping. Lars's back four is, um... It's pretty up there when it comes to, like, true... True linear attacks. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, the bear stepping it is a testament to... Okay, if Nina stepped it in her own trailer, that's... That's whatever. That doesn't mean that movement is like super good or super bad. We're kind of like back to uh, square one with that. I agree. Um, ready, bra? Yeah, I, I definitely think so. What's up, Senna? Senalo? We know that Tekken A has a sidestep. But uh, yeah, that's the question. Is it a good sidestep, though? Yeah, that's the that's the question. Is it a good side step? Yo, wait. Okay, you're repeating yourself six times. I'm definitely not gonna shout you out. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Make panda an alt. That would be great. Um, ready, bruh. Um, that shine shin blade. Wait, got you into learning the game? That's what's up. That is what is up. Who got banned? 
I have no idea. It's probably the guy that repeated himself. And yo, Ahmed, no, I was not. But yeah, you don't have to ban the guy for repeating himself. Just um, you know, let him know. Just a yeah. Thank you, uh, Fascio. Thank you. Always good to see you live on YouTube. Always good to have you here. Christ Blair. I know that is a trash combo. Yeah, that's that's also a trash combo. Yeah, these bears have um like decent damage, I would say. Right. This is your first stream here. First time here in the stream, Jack Brown. Welcome. What you mean, Ronnie? Made you learn Tekken at CEO, and I made you find your main at Evo. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. Between bound and tailspin, which one do you prefer and why? I actually prefer tailspins because of how imbalanced bound was in Tekken uh, what, 6. Yeah, Tekken 6 and Tag 2. <clears throat> yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying not to say Tekken 8. It's just so exciting to be able to actually talk about that game now. But uh yeah. How would you prefer King alternative outfits? I hope they, like I said, guys, I hope they like give every character every outfit they've ever had. That would be great. Found with King is horrible. Indeed, man. It was terrible, man. It was. Yeah, some characters had really good bound moves and some characters had really trash ones. But in Tekken 7, everyone has good ones, like good tail spins. Or like some moves they just instant tail spin. Yo, JTX Raider? Oh my goodness, man. Guess who's back missed your streams due to a few bodyguarding gigs. But you're a bodyguard? What, man? <clears throat> Who are you bodyguarding? A celebrity? Yo, thank you, man. This man, JTX Raider with the $50 super chat. Yo, thank you, man. <laughs> yeah you have to tell me about that one jtx you said yo snake edges <laughs> but yeah yo jtx yeah we're just talking about some tekken 8 but uh you know people i only have the the, the panda and lars on the screen right now because folks were saying oh the side step is good i'm like we don't know that yet. We saw Nina side step Lars is back four. We have no idea if that's a good side step or a bad one. We have no idea. No earthly idea of how good like the movement is on Tekken 8. We just don't know. Like of all the moves they showed Nina step, it had to be like one of the most linear attacks ever. That's why I'm having a bear out here who has like one of the worst side steps. Let me let me go to, um, see, I forgot about Eddie. Now, if Eddie sidesteps this, then this, like, further proves my point. But everyone hit the like button on the stream. Let's get some more people up in here. Try to boost this stream to the uh, YouTube algorithm. I don't know, uh, Twilight Star. I don't know. I seriously doubt it right now. <laughs> Let me see here. Yeah, Eddie has an issue. Ray can at least do that move. But yeah. Yeah, this is definitely the worst step on the game. Of course, everyone already knew that. 
But I, I just picked the, the bear because they have the huge hurt boxes. Will 60 frames per second be fine for Tekken 8? I have no idea, dude. I have no idea. Now, there's something new. I haven't seen a, um, like a real tail spin, you know? Yeah, side step 3 plus 4 doesn't work. It's too slow. Yeah, I'm trying to do like the advanced movement stuff. Yeah, Eddie just doesn't have a side step. It's just for positioning. There was a tail spin in the first trailer. Yeah, it was. It was. But if we look at Nina and her trailer, we saw. Um. So let me let me pick. Nina, but we're gonna go and look at the trailers and everything so um, we can start our real speculations and stuff And look at things to get a real good You know grasp Of what's to come And it's gonna come pretty soon actually next month Evo Japan. Yeah, some people are gonna be able to play that closed alpha test So uh, yeah, she was yeah, this move has been reanimated and it like sends them spiraling in the air and they land and she can still do a uh, pickup combo. So that looks like the new um, combo extender mechanic. I don't know if they still call it tailspin. It might be called something else. I don't know. But um, that's what it seems like because Paul did it too. You think 20 frame throw break window is fine? I personally don't, Ali. I, I personally wish they would revert throws back to um, like previous games to where this is a one, this is a two, this is a one, this is a two. You know, back turn as well. That way you can actually have like a, a higher chance of seeing throws. I hope so too, Jack. I like, I, yo, Twilight, I like uh, Nina's outfit. And um, you asked Fighting GM, what did he think? And we're both speculating a huge letdown. Jeez. Jeez. I don't know about that one. I, I think I think most of us in here are still going to play the game anyways. But for how long? That's the question. If it's like a, um, like a, you know, a huge mess. Because I'm thinking, um... Like, already, from what I've seen with Heat, like I said, I, I don't, I don't like it. I understand they're trying to get more casuals to play Tekken. They're trying to make Tekken 8, like, this huge, you know, trailblazing Tekken game. Best Tekken ever. Most copies sold. Um, probably more sponsorships, bigger prize pools for the tournaments. More, like big leagues i think they're seeing like dollar signs for tekken 8 with this heat system just by itself and chip damage and all that but um like as a competitor well uh you know former competitor at this point you guys have retired me but <laughs> But yeah, I, I think that they are trying to go for something huge. You know, they want Tekken to stop being a, a game that gets like these $1,000 first place payouts for a thousand entrants and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that they will probably succeed. See, now I'm going to shout you out. ProGamer85, welcome to the stream, dude. Hopefully you're doing great. Um, Yeah, you can't retire anyways. I mean, there's there's no 401k or pension or anything like that for playing these games. You either, you know, just play or you don't. Shout out to ProGamer85. Welcome, dude. Taking they should be great. Aaron Jones, I hope, I think... Like I said, I'm a little bit more uh, optimistic these days, but um, we're going to take a look at the trailer. So I guess, what, about a hundred and, uh, 
60 people watching that's fine that's fine we can go and look at the stuff and um have this here gonna mute some some tech and and try to look at this again here i need to i need to actually uh bring up another tab just to show you guys something with like virtual fighter <laughs> oh my goodness man yeah that's exactly what we're gonna do all right so um let me get taken off of here and just go to the uh screen here so you guys can see i'm gonna move myself um upwards a little bit i don't have like a box camera or anything so you guys can uh see this here okay yeah i don't know how loud this is going to be so let's um how is this guys is this uh too loud okay so yeah i mean starting off rage is is different a little bit just because um two things you got rage arts you know being down forward one plus two for the cast that's different and no rage drives that's different so uh yeah that's um uh, that's something else yeah, this is perfect guys okay cool cool i'm gonna move my camera up so you guys can see the bottom i'm just cut off here <laughs> so yeah this is uh this is something else。okay so i didn't look at this really well but it looks good though what do you guys think about the life bars i think the life bars look really nice upgraded and the rage here looks really cool too there's actually more um more things going on with the life bar it's just not flat you know the ui is sick yeah, same thing. Lower the health bar, the more the rage art takes. Yeah. You like the line, but not the gradient. But yeah, you guys see. Are you guys checking out the life bars up here? It's like constantly flowing. It's like flames. That is really, really cool. That is really really cool to me because I, I didn't see that it like the first time i looked at it but we're we're watching it now looks nice to again i don't know how to say that uh grandma fergus law gets a a definite nerf with his rage art and initial attack but the animation is dope I wonder why there wasn't any life bars in this gen scene here. Yeah, it's not always the right answer. Of course, this is this is old school stuff. Either cash out with the rage art or just keep the rage and make all your moves hurt more. We know about this. We know about this. This still the same. Much love to you as well. Gazelle, Gitai. Those health bars seem kind of stiff, you know? Wait, what are you talking about, Fallen Program? Those, those health bars look nice. 
Okay, so this is this is concerning here. This line right here, adding more and more elements would have made it too complicated. So we have reorganized, and the raised drive itself has been eliminated. Hmm. We just got to keep watching. More complicated. I mean, just because you can only do rage arts with rage now doesn't mean that they haven't still made the game more complicated. Hence, this change right here. You see that? Or one plus two. So this is telling us something here, guys. So they're going to have it set to a default R2 on the PlayStation controller. Hmm. This means some characters' moves are going to disappear or like become reanimated or something. And this, this is why. So Lars, for example. What are they going to make his power crush? If his rage art is down for one plus two, what command are they going to give him for the power crush that's currently in Tekken 7? Mind you, Lars already has a forward one plus two, a back one plus two, a down back one plus two, up forward one plus two is his grab. Um, you know? What, what is it going to be this time? Or does he just get a completely new power crush? Yeah, how's, how's he going to input that? <laughs> Is it going to just be up one plus two? No telling. Yeah, and don't forget, like, a, a lot of characters don't have, like, empty command slots for their current down four one plus twos to be a different direction in one plus two. So that's going to... That's going to be interesting to see what they do with that. You said one field two? Like what? One slide two? I think only King gets a power crush. Well, King is good. Okay, so this this is where I started to like get a bad taste in my mouth. Recoverable gauge. Okay, a part of the damage taken by blocking certain big moves, or of course juggles. The red health, you know, the the stuff that was in previous games, especially tag two, especially tag one. This is this is where things get a little, you know, hmm? Yeah, this this is where things get a little bit questionable. You don't think Leia's coming back if you're honest? Yeah, I don't I don't know about the chip damage in Tekken. You think it balances uh, chip damage? Yeah, this keyword aggressive, guys. That's something else. Yeah, we're going to get to that one, Fossil. Yeah, the guard breaks. Yeah, you get your health back. As you just said, you regain your health back by hitting basically just making contact with the opponent if you have that red health so if they block or get hit you get your life back in small increments of course so um that's um that's already like uh -huh. so you're making us play a certain way we, we don't have freedom to play the way we want we got to keep attacking and of course that's going to um that's really going to benefit the characters that have like really good defensive options 
characters who have really good power crushes, really good backswing blows, or moves that just sway in general. So I'm thinking, you know, like Eddie's back one plus two that we just saw. He has like two safe, um, you know, the stepping punch or the, the big launcher that he steps back. Yeah, Eddie's going to eat because people are going to be trying to get their, their red health back and run into all kinds of launchers. Yeah, so I think I think the characters that are currently really good with defense are going to do really well in this game. Especially the ones that like do both really well right now. The scary is if doing any move gives you health back late and haha step all day. Yeah, of course, Yoshi and Lei, they can already manually like get their health back with stuff, so that's going to be interesting for them. How does the white gauge remain? Yeah, so it's white there. And it doesn't disappear over time. Yeah, so basically if you're seeing this white gauge here, certain attacks will make that disappear if you get hit. Okay, what do you say? A low attack, so are they singling now low attacks? Based on this damage, huh? Let me go back and look at just how much of it left. That was a pretty sizable chunk. You guys see that? Yeah, so it was right here. Trying to um Yeah, I'm trying to see exactly where Okay, it was right there. Yeah, that was pretty sizable. So it was right there at the end. <laughs> wow. That looks like, from my perspective, it looks like a little bit more than the actual damage of the low that was lost from the white. Am I seeing that correctly? Lows are gonna eat this year. <laughs> yeah, look at this. So, trying to, so it will be about right here. But it's it's well past that. It's almost twice that. So the damage of the low was taken from both bars. It looks like a little bit more than the actual damage of the low was taken from the white. Oh man, this this here is is making me get even more um questionable, I guess, when it comes to this. <laughs> that king cutter had me going brazy. It did. It did for me too, man. Yo, every, I think everyone saw that RKO and was like, "Oh my goodness!" <laughs> yeah, the diamond cutter RKO, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so based on the damage, okay. This means low attacks. Oh man. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna say it now before I forget it later on. So with the heat and how the heat works, I think characters with the strong mid low 50 50 games are going to really really eat so i'm looking at kazuya um jen of course devil jen if he's on the game um paul obviously yeah nina yeah she has wiped the floor yeah i think i think characters with with those unsealable lows that knock down and stuff they are going to eat you guys saw how much 
White Health law lost from a Tekken one down three from Paul. That was a pretty big chunk. That's that's pretty crazy. So let's let's continue playing. Yeah, so it's showing like little little by little when you actually attack and they block. You get some little chip damage back. Shout outs to Law's new 112 right there. Looks okay, nice, nicely animated. Welcome, Z Last Boss. Lee's got a good low mid mix up. Yeah, he does, but he has to slide first. So, um, I'm talking about the stuff. I agree, um, Swaggins, D, D Swaggins. You know, I can't say your name. Say rewind? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, we can rewind. So, you're talking about doesn't disappear over the time. Yeah, certain attacks. So I think this is when he, he went low and then it took a nice little chunk. So let's go back to the part of law. Yeah, you don't you don't get a lot back when they block, but I guess it's good that you do. <clears throat> no, certain moves see Paul, they said certain moves um take chip damage. So of course, these little pecs that Law is doing, those aren't those aren't chip damage attacks. But we're gonna get go, we're gonna get to it though, because they're gonna show some stuff. More on hit, yeah, indeed. Two hundred eighty. Everyone hit the like button. Thanks a bunch. Thank you, Fasio, with that. Yeah, so I'm just going to um, keep on playing this video and pause when necessary. Oh my goodness, look at, the, look at the wording. You guys see that? In a nutshell, the heat system is a period of time that is overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly beneficial to an attacker. overwhelmingly beneficial to the attacker man <laughs> and that's the thing though yeah yeah older games had uh chip damage where you can you can cut it on and off and stuff but it was it was definitely nothing like this where you can get health back and stuff like that yeah, so you got this stuff here on the screen. User enters a state of enhancement, all that good stuff. Okay, so now this is where this is where things get a little complicated for all you people that are like waiting for Tekken 8. You're not going to play Tekken 7. You want to take on all this stuff on top of like all these characters with 100 moves and, and more, some with 200. <laughs> man do not wait guys don't wait that's just a little a little fyi before we continue guys if you're not playing tekken 7 now um you probably should i really advise you to because um this isn't this isn't an nrs game this isn't like an anime fighter this is tekken so um a lot of the moves are legacy Meaning that the inputs for the moves have been the same for decades. I'm sure the down three that Paul did in like the last um, like recovery gauge segment was the same. It was down three. So um, yeah, you guys play play Tekken Seven now so that you'll have a, a little bit less to learn and pick up with Tekken Eight. Cause this system here, let's get to it. It's it's kind of um, convoluted. Yo, Z last boss, what we doing tonight? Yeah, we just we just talked about Tekken 8. Got your bag of herb ready. <laughs> All 
I'm going. I'm going to get to that Z last boss. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get to that. Okay, so we got the heat. Got the blue flames. Got the heat timer up there. One button, guys. Our one button. Remember, that was the Rage Art button in Tekken 7. But Rage Art is R2 now in Tekken 8. Okay, so yeah, that was that was basic stuff. It lasts um ten seconds. That was called the um what was that? The heat smash. Or the heat burst. He burst. Yeah, they have so many different names for it. Okay, now that was new. Let's let's take a look at this. This was a uh, Tekken three. You guys remember Tekken three? This was Paul's intro on there. You know, he does this and breaks his neck. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, so I guess they do that after um, you know, the real intros. Yeah, so 10 seconds if you do nothing, but if you attack, they block or get hit, it stops. So, that is pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy right now. Every hit does chip damage. You guys see that? Let's rewatch that, that last um, part here. Look at Law's health bar. So, you got the initial heat burst attack. It does chip damage. How hard is it going to be to get a perfect on somebody? Yeah, it does chip damage. I need to, I need to actually go back because um, there was probably a line that we need to actually look at. And I don't know if they went over it just yet. まあ、okay, okay. Yeah, that's the timer. That's the timer. See, I'm trying to really look at this and read this over before I really get too opinionated. Okay, just hit the R1 button. Anyone can do that. Yo, that's that's one bar. And you have to you have to pay attention to the bar here. See, that's that's one bar of the heat. Yeah, and check check low out, guys. Let me slow this down for you guys to see this. Look at Law here. He is frozen. <laughs> he is frozen. Do you guys see that? Yeah, one heat per round. That's 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 crazy. This this looks like a, a hyper pause, and Paul is already swinging here. So right before his fist comes down, you can move again. So uh, that's going to be a really good whiff punish tool. Already, just to like go into the heat burst. That is crazy. Every hit is chip damage. Yeah, whatever that move Paul just did, that was like his new um that is crazy. I hope this was like a um a typo or something or like a mistranslation. Once per round. <laughs> Ooh wee. Man. 
But yeah, you see, Harada just said that, um, let's, let's go back. Aggressive. More advantageous if you're being aggressive. If you're on the defensive, you're at a disadvantage. While this heat is going on. While the heat is on, it's on. I agree with you, um, Pineapple. I agree. Two conditions. So, okay, that first smash here is a heat burst. Okay, so this is where things start to get a little interesting. Heat engager. You automatically run if you hit the opponent. So I'm assuming that um, if that death fist doesn't hit. Shout outs to the, uh, the, the nerf death fist damage, by the way. You guys see that? Yo, death fist damage is, is pretty low. And it also looked like a clean hit. He was right on them. Did they even, did they take clean hit out? Paul Mains, I'm sorry for you guys. Yeah, this this isn't a lot of damage. Watch your content for about a month or two. Enjoy watching it. You're new. Yo, I, yo, Bink, Blinks, thanks for that uh, super chat. And I always tell people, if you're new to Tekken, play with who you like, man. Whichever fighting style that, you know, you just love, find that character and get to learning. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with people um, picking the easiest character and they hate the character and they end up quitting the entire game because of it. You know, they're too bored or something. So, we'll see. We'll see. But, of course, yeah, yeah, you're right, Gold Lewis. Yeah, this, this is, you know, the alpha build. It's not final. They could, they could definitely buff the damage. So, yeah, this heat engager, you hit them... You automatically run. Overwhelming advantage. Overwhelming advantage. More than one move per character. About five of them. Yeah, and I don't, I don't know if I uh, missed it. Did they are like already talk about it? But the the heat burst here, the the smash, that's actually a plus on block. That's actually plus on block. I don't know if they got to that point yet, but um, it does chip damage, and it's plus on block. <laughs> And that's, that's for everyone. So it's not just a Paul thing. It's every single character. Okay, so everyone has five heat engagers. Okay, beginners, you only have to learn five moves. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not that simple, no. But those are five moves you're going to want to learn. Because, yeah, this game is about the heat. So they, they set the heat engages to each character's characteristic moves. Hmm. This, uh, so now, now we can, we can start to talk about some, uh, some things, guys. Um, each characteristics, huh? I guess that depends on what their perception of it is. Characteristic moves. So what if, what if a character's characteristic move is trash? <laughs> <laughs> so, like what if yeah like, like hold up who who said that nestor mora what i hope not yo what if king's people's elbow is an engager
So that means you actually have to hit someone in the neutral with the people's elbow and then you do the engager. Not gonna be a point doing it if they're already grounded. <laughs> you already have the Oki advantage. I hope that's not what they mean. But uh, it just depends. Whatever five moves that they personally, you know, select, whatever this guy here selects, you know, it just depends. But yeah, before we get back started with this, everyone hit the like button on the stream. Help me out with the algorithm. Get some more people up in here so we can really talk and speculate. Because, yeah, deadly boomerang. Oh, goodness, no. Oh, no. All right. えっと、いくつか。キャラクターの特徴的な技に設定することで、ま、昔で言うなんていうんですか、インストカードみたいな。ああ、アーケードね。筐体に貼ってあったよな。まずこれを覚えよう。まずこの技だけ使えば、それな
it looks like a, a nerf. But there's just no telling if this is a floatable state yet. Yeah, this is, you know, it's still too too early. This is for freaking alpha version. So we have no idea what Paul will be able to get after that, that Magic 4. Or if Magic 4s are still what they've always have been on counter hit. But that was definitely a counter hit 4 and heat. You think they would get like a super crazy stun or something, but yeah, looks like he's able to get up pretty fast after that. So you can use it as a combo extender. You see how late he did it? Wow, low was paused in the air. This is going to create some pretty crazy combos if they leave it like this. He did it late. He activated the uh, heat burst really late and still. And this is bound. For... Oh, wow. I didn't see low. <laughs> Okay, okay. Just one button, guys. R1. That's going to be pretty interesting for people who play Claw. Have to hit R1. Yeah, of course, that's the cancel there. Just activate it. Don't do anything. Now that I don't know why you would want to do. Honestly. So far there's no no point in not doing it. Let's let's take a pause. Let's take a pause. Chat. Is there a point right now? I mean, am I seeing this wrong? Um what's the point in not going through with a plus on block, plus on hit, chip damage on block? heat burst attack that if they were to do like an aerial move or something it turns into a bound and you get a combo follow-up as opposed to just going and activating heat with the non-attack version of heat burst what which one is better to you guys you guys said so you don't whiff you're not gonna whiff that attack. <laughs> you see, see, I knew people would say you could probably sidestep it. Yeah, that's true. Which would probably be a lot easier if it didn't have a freaking hyper pause like a super move. Yeah, I'm not done, Rosan. I'm not done. Yeah, that's that's just been one thing that I have noticed with this here. Yeah, you have a hyper pause before the heat burst comes out. And we don't even know the tracking on it. Paul's Hammer of the Gods currently in Tekken 7 has decent tracking, but we we just don't know anything yet, so it's pure speculation. It's pure speculation. Yo, you guys could be right. Maybe it is to, to not whiff it, but I don't think in high, I'm talking about high level play, guys. I'm talking about high level play when people really learn how to use this mechanic correctly. They're not going to be doing it in a situation where you can even step it in the first place. This will be something like an okey thing, I'm thinking. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Bait them to throw it. Yo, look at how low he was. And it leaves them with the, you know, the white health here. Recoverable gauge. You don't really understand the heat mechanic and it scares you, Black Zero. That's what we're trying to do. That's the purpose of today's stream is to really... Look at this and analyze what we see with this video and um, just talk. Just just talk, chat. Let's just talk. So we know that, yo, that heat burst is pretty darn good. 
from what I see. That's a pretty busted attack. That's like a rage drive in and of itself. Okay, so the heat engagers, that's the characteristics of each character pretty much. Um, there are five best moves <laughs> and you'll be good. Okay, so Paul does the death fist, you pop it open and he runs into a... Uh, I'm trying to see when does he actually recover here. Okay, Law is holding his stomach. You know in Tekken 7 and like uh, previous Tekken games, sometimes the character will have a uh, effect like this where they're crumpled over, but if you do another attack, they can possibly even like sidestep. So there's no telling exactly like the number of plus frames you get from these uh, heat engager attacks. So yeah, we'll we'll just have to um, assume that you can't do anything right here, since, in their words, overwhelming advantage. And he just said, you know, significantly advantaged situation. So um, yeah, that's the overwhelming advantage for sure. Makes it easy to see when there's a shift in the battle's momentum. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that, that there chat is... um. <sighs> I don't know what... <sighs> Correct me if I'm wrong. You're watching High Level Tech. You're, like the TWT finals this past weekend. We see the characters going back and forth. No one has the advantage yet. No one has the momentum yet. Someone does this and it hits. A combo starts. Isn't it very easy to see who has the momentum when someone's in the air getting comboed? Isn't it easy to see who has the momentum when one person has more life than the other? Um, <laughs> yo, let me tell you guys a little bit of a, a personal story. Like me and my fiance, my fiance before meeting me knew nothing of the FGC. She knew nothing about like video game tournaments. She didn't play video games, but when she went to tournaments and she looked at you know, Dragon Ball Fighters. Couldn't really understand it that much. Too much stuff going on the screen. You looked at um, MKX. A little bit more easy to, to follow. But Tekken? No problems. Okay, the guy that's hitting the other guy has the advantage. Okay, you got a combo? Okay, yeah, he's, he's comboing him. He's, yeah, he's in the advantage. He has the momentum. You know, no meters. No, none of that stuff. So, um, yeah, and that's, that can be said for like anyone that's not a gamer or not into fighting games and they see Tekken at any level, it's very easy for them to understand what they are watching. <laughs> so this whole concept here is crazy to me. Like those last few lines in this video are, is just crazy. Makes it easier to understand the shift in momentum as if getting hit and getting comboed or just simply having more life than other person is, is just not easy enough thank you spicy punk rocker i agree but i will i will i'm gonna give tech and eight a chance but yeah oh well <laughs> Even your seven-year-old daughter saw you at a disadvantage while being comboed, of course. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. 
こ,こ,これが出たら間違いなく、まあ、攻めが継続するというか、えー、そういう。Wait, let's not continue. Let's, let's go back one more time. 相手に詰め寄って、大幅に有利な。Yeah, I just want to look at this damage here. So, does that line right there from Harada here? He can be set up since no one's coming from move. It depends a bit on the opponent's reaction to being hit. So, um. I don't know about this line here, guys. So, does this mean that, um. Like the different engagers are gonna do, they're gonna have like different recovery animations, maybe? No telling, no telling. They probably all are the same. I don't know. Right. Because <laughs> I'm sure not everything is gonna be just like that, right? But yeah, that, now that is good damage. Check that out. You get hit with a death fist. You know good and weird, you can't move right there to, to actually like sidestep or even challenge that uh, demo man. So that's that's pretty good damage. That's close to half life. And then, you know, it leaves this recoverable health, which is going to encourage Law here or whoever that's playing Law to get up and start attacking while this man is glowing. With two of these, I don't even think they got to that point yet. He has two of these bars because of a heat engage. I have no idea, Grandma Fergus. Says Street Fighter 6. Whenever they show Zangief, I'll be more inclined to play it, but let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Okay, when the heat engager hits, the attack is sure to continue. And it is the starting point for such tactics, so it is easy to understand. Yeah, so basically when you do that heat engager, you run up and close the distance. Uh, you're not going to backdash afterwards. That's just off the table. You know, sometimes in Tekken 7, people hit people, they run up, and then they kind of back off. Out of fear that the opponent might mash out a, a backswing blow or, you know, a, a hop kick or something like that. Oh, no, this time it's, it's 100% your turn. And we've already discussed this, like, in the, the previous trailer. So, uh, we'll see. My biggest fear is the skill gap in Tekken 8 will be much smaller than Tekken 7. You think the veterans and new players will be indistinguishable? Yo, Manja, thank you. I, I think that, um... The one thing that, like the old school players like myself or whoever that's currently um, like a name, a prominent figure in, in Tekken 7, one thing that we have is that we have, you know, the knowledge of Tekken. We have knowledge of a lot of these characters' moves and stuff like that. So it's a legacy fighter still. It's not like everyone is starting from square one and having to learn every single move every single character has it's not like that there's still going to be some moves that you know king or whoever has had for decades so that's still going to be the thing that's you know a one-up but um we'll talk about um we'll talk about all of that stuff in a bit i'm trying to get through this video but yeah someone brand new um, I don't, I don't think so. They're going to have to spend some time with this. I don't think so, PlayStation 420. Okay, what you can do during the heat state, you can take special actions. Okay, now this is this is interesting, and they have it highlighted. So I think this here could be, um, you know, the replacement for rage drives times 10. 
But let's get into it. Even if guarded, you know, chip damage. Um, character personalities and characteristics are enhanced. Of course, like I said before, this could be um, this could be really good for some characters and really bad for others. And it's it's totally up to them to decide what exactly is a characteristic of a character with those moves because they're putting characteristics and stuff like that into moves and that's what you're going to be able to do with these special actions so um yo welcome to the mods and supporters concealed and revealed welcome dude how you doing we don't we don't know about that black zero we have no idea You're right, uh, Clint Logan, but I don't know. You could be wrong, though. Yeah, so we already know, you know, he, everything is a chip damage attack, everything. But it leaves the white health. Yeah. What's up, Effect? How's it going, man? Yeah, we're just looking at this. Trying to get a good understanding. Yeah, so this is the heat energy. So everyone has to understand the heat energy is the name of the bar here for the heat. That is cheap. <laughs> that is cheap. That is cheap. The heat smash. Of course, it it completely uh depletes your um your heat gauge for that round, but um. You guys saw what Paul just did, right? Low attack. <laughs> And I think with this here, with Paul, I don't think it's going to matter if it's clean or not. I think if he does this and you get hit by the low, you're going to eat the rest of this no matter what. This is a cutscene. So this is uh, character specific. Yeah, and it, it depletes your entire uh, heat gauge, well, heat energy. Now that's cheesy too, guys. That's cheesy too. The heat dash. And you could do that from your heat engagers, which are like the five moves that people, you know, that... These guys themselves are saying are the, the five moves you really need to learn if you're picking up Tekken, you're new to Tekken or new to a character in Tekken 8. You learn that stuff, you'll be fine. That's what they said. Not my words, theirs. So, um, that, that was a, a pretty big thing there. Wow, look at that advantage. Look at that advantage. Okay, Paul looks like he's able to move right here. Look at Law. Look at Law. Okay, Paul is, is ready to keep swinging right now. Law is um still reeling. My, that is crazy. You see that advantage? He could do demo man and it will trip right there. He can't do anything about that, even on block. <laughs> that is crazy. Where does he say resets every round? We already we already went over that part. Um uh Kanata? Yeah, yeah, it's it's once per round, he said. It was on the the little um slash or whatever here. It was on the little um picture here. They say a slight advantage for the heat burst attack. What he's doing is a heat engager and counseling it with heat dash, which gives it gives you a real big advantage. So let's let's actually read what he says here. Mm. 
Yeah, that's that's what everyone is really concerned about is the um the heat dash from moves that are you know otherwise unsafe on block. That is pretty crazy, chat. That's that's a real 50-50, which is going to be um crazy. Okay, okay, see here it is, here it is. This is the slide. You have activated when a heat engager is guarded. That's five moves here, guys. At least. You can get close and make an advantageous situation. <laughs> but you see, heat engagers are usually at a disadvantage if they get guarded. Hence, Paul's death is, you know, people can actually punish it. Some characters can launch it on block. But if he uses the heat mechanics, he can not only make it safe, but he can make it plus. If he's already in heat. That's for that's for when it's guarded, guys. So he when they're talking about the move, the heat engager being guard, uh, guarded, that means it's already activated. So this isn't like a round one fight, no heat. You do death fist and then you can just do a, um, a heat dash. No, you can't do that. You have to already be in heat. So, um, hopefully that clears some things up. Yeah, you can't, you can only do a, um, a heat dash from a heat engager on hit if it's in neutral, if there's no heat already activated. So, um, that's, that's one thing. But as we saw, if you hit with one of those moves, one of those five moves and you like activate the heat, you get a free mix up. And you don't get one, but you get two of the heat energies, which is crazy. You wonder if all the new heat enhanced attacks will be will punishers of choice, killing current hot kick style. I don't think so. See, we gotta we gotta talk about um. You never heard of uh, advantageous? Yeah, that's a word people use all the time. There's a good chance that matches can go even longer than Tekken 7. Yeah, there's a potential for that, um, Tofu. Yeah. Yeah, that's, there's a, there's a, a high chance that, uh, matches or rounds will be longer in, uh, Tekken 8 because of this. But there's also a chance that they could be really fast. <laughs> because if they're encouraging you to get your health back by attacking... That's going to make characters that like exceed in the uh, counter hits even stronger. So you have to think about that. Whoever uses the heat first and gets the knockdown. And remember, like when you're grounded, the heat doesn't deplete anymore. It stops for the aggressor. So um, that's just something to think about. You might completely just get your tail kicked. <laughs> <laughs> without a chance of hope because it's all offense yeah if you activate heat you're not backing up anymore you're going to be swinging Okay, so the heat dash, if it's activated when a heat engager hits. Wow, that is crazy. The opponent's reaction changes and a combo becomes possible. That is crazy. That is absolute crazy. This here is, this is a very important uh, slide here. This is very important. They smash and dash. <laughs> Now, if you do the heat smash, that's it. But um, this this here this this slide here is uh important. And yo, seven X player, yo, shout outs to you. That's exactly what I was about to say. This is a plus on block launcher, and I'm not talking about regular plus on block launchers. I'm not talking about King's, uh, you know, capital punishment that's plus two or something. This is overwhelming advantage plus on block launcher if done in heat if you do that heat dash you don't have to do it 
But if you do it and it hits, launcher. If it's blocked, mix up. <laughs> and people were people were really rejoicing at Ray's drives being gone. How many of you guys in the chat were happy that they took Ray's drives out? How many of you guys were happy that they took away raise drives? Are you are you starting to kind of um retract that that happiness? You guys might want to. You said it probably still chips? Yeah, it definitely chips. It's still chip damage because it, it's done. See, in Paul's case, his death fist does chip damage anyways. He, this is nothing to do with heat. Some moves have chip damage no matter what. And, of course, it just depends on the character and what the move is, what they think are the, the characteristics or whatever. So King's Deadly Boomerang might be one of those attacks. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, the heat dash is the that's that's one of the cheesy attacks. But I think all the stuff, all of this heat stuff that they're showing, they're all pretty cheesy. All right, let's go. Let's go. Plus on block launchers. こういう技普段はこういう叩きつきのやられが出るんですけども so, so Paul is um Harry Bogard now he he has a power dunk must be just a, a regular new move but look at this this is one of his um heat dashable moves so it's definitely a heat engager attack that was that was pretty good damage and look at how much um white health is left after all that and we know let's look at this combo again we know good and well that combo wasn't optimal we know that combo was not optimal yeah it probably jumps over lows too yeah so what is that new mechanic right here what is this is the new this is something every character has this is the new tailspin i don't know the the official name for it but that's the new combo extender where they they flip and they they land on their back their legs are up you can convert combo ender <laughs> tail flip um spin a rooney whatever you want to call it uh, flip out <laughs> yo go lewis that's that's what i was thinking this game is um i was thinking i was thinking it too tekken strive tekken eight strive <clears throat> flippity flop <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so you get two combos potentially like two combo extenders per combo if you uh like implement the um the heat and whatever the, the regular combo extender is so this move usually just knocks them on the ground but if you do a heat dash it's a launcher we know that so that's one of his heat engagers so that that hopping whatever must be like unsafe or just negative on block okay so now they're about to talk about the the actual numbers of the heat energy so this is important yeah so you guys see heat burst just gives you one doesn't matter if it's hit or block. If you do heat burst, you only have one bar. Yeah, you can do 
either the uh, the heat smash or the heat dash. Okay, now this is this is important too. This is important too. So you get two of them, meaning that you can do two heat dashes. Which is crazy. So that means two plus on block launchers. This this is two safe mid, not safe. This is two super plus on block launchers. If you so if you whiff punish with a death fist <laughs> and you activate the heat. This is this is huge, guys. Now this is where we can really start to talk about this system because um you whiff against Paul. He has heat. He death fists you. We already discussed early on in this stream how much advantage you get from the uh, heat engager. So if you start your heat with a heat engager successfully, you get two bars of heat energy. And remember, after you're done, you're at an overwhelming advantage. Right here, right now, where Paul is, he has two of them. Demo man, guaranteed attempt. They must block it. No option for anything, it looks like. I'm sure you can't low parry, but that's just speculation. Let's just talk about what we already know. Let's talk about what we already know. Exactly, uh, Adonis. So right here in this, in this position, Paul can either death fist again, which is his mid of choice, and make it plus on block or launcher on hit if he does a heat dash cancel. He can opt to go low for a regular demo man. He can do a safer low, you know, uh, quarter circle four or three. He could do stuff like that if he, or grab or whatever. He could do any of those things. But right here, Law is in a, bad bad position where it will be crazy to duck but right here say you stand up you block the death is you block the, the the jumping overhead smash move and he does a heat dash you know that that kind of resets things you're still at an overwhelming disadvantage and he can go for the 50 50 again so this right here is powerful this is this is powerful, chat. This is freaking powerful. So let's let's do the math. Let's do the math. You will you get will punished by Delphis. And right here, like let's let's play this. Let's let's watch this. Yeah. Boom, you whiffed. You get Delphis. All pops the heat. Boom. Mix up time. He has two of them. Now let's do some little, you know, speculation. Let's do some theory fighting. I'm going to commit. You know, I'm the law player. I'm going to commit to standing up because I'm not going to duck. He does death fist one more time and does a heat dash. That's plus, again, that's this exact same situation. Now there will be just one <laughs> heat energy left. You still have to guess. So after that, all right. I'm going to duck. He's going to go low this time. He does death fist again and does a second heat dash. You get comboed. GG's. That's not one, not two, but three situations where you have to guarantee guess. What? That is crazy. Yo, um, pineapple. No, no, no. You saw it uses. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> that is that is crazy. The damage is nerfed. Okay, so. 
I need to actually look at this. Overwhelming advantage. I hate that word, man. That is crazy. Look at this. You see this, right? He still has one left. So imagine if, if Law would have actually blocked this Death Fist that hit him, he would have still had one more left. So he has to guess more than once. Do you see that pineapple? Look, let's look at this again. Let's look at it one more time. Okay, you get Wolf Punish here. You got to guess. You have to guess. Let's just assume Paul isn't just sitting here. Okay, this was the guess. You got hit. Or let's say you blocked. He still has one more chance. See why he just depleted his energy right there? That was the heat smash. That takes away your whole bar. No, that's three. That's three guesses. Because <laughs> the first guess comes after, like right, right after the um the heat engager. So whatever that move is, you guess you get mixed. That's that's a that's a potential for two more. I don't know. I don't know. That's that's still too many guesses for my um for my health, man. It's a matter of tactics and how you use it. Like how how else will people use this stuff? But you see, look at the consumption here. Negative one. You lose one when you do this. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. There's not enough info to worry too much about gameplay. The cool one, did you? Bro, this is worrying. This is definitely worrying. We don't know concealed and revealed. We have no idea if you can step this stuff, but I'm saying, see, I'm looking at it through different lenses, through different eyes. I'm looking at it like, you know, I'm going to a tournament, I'm competing, I'm trying to, you know, win. I, I want to travel across the world and do this stuff. And that's what I'm going to have to deal with when I get Wolf punished. I got to guess. And I can't use movement or anything like that to... You said just sidestep. <laughs> oh, man. See, see guys, you, you have to understand, chat. You have to understand. They say overwhelming advantage. What do you guys think that means? Do you guys think... Why would they call it an overwhelming advantage if you can sidestep it after they are done closing in the distance with the uh, heat engager or a heat dash. Your water's rush, you wish. Plus five? Overwhelming? That plus five is not overwhelming. <laughs> overwhelming advantage you can yo zafina can sidestep a jab at negative five so that doesn't seem very overwhelming when it comes to a, a frame number plus six same thing you can still down you can you can sidestep a down four or one i hope you guys are right though <laughs> I hope you guys are right, but looking at the animations and stuff, I don't think so. That's exactly what I'm thinking, D Matt. Like, I'm thinking more than plus 10. I'm thinking like plus 18, like Zafina's Rage Drive. We're not going to bring it up just yet, Indoor House. We're going to get to it. But yeah, this is what it is. So heat engager is the best way to enter the heat. So like in, in high level play, you get a whiff punish. 
with a um you know one of your five moves that you know can activate the heat engager that's what you're gonna do that's optimal because then after that you get two more um two or three more mix-ups depending on what you do so this is this is probably the best way to to use it unless you're like in rage and i'm thinking like these two here heat burst and uh heat smash will probably be used or i don't know or it might just be heat burst and heat dash You can only do engager if it hits. So you only do it to will punish and confirm it. Yeah, yeah. But if you're already in heat, then you can still do a um like a heat dash here from the heat engager. It just depends on how much energy you have. So um yeah, that, that makes this um game a lot harder for like a new player to pick up. Where it's supposed to be easier and more simple. You think heat engager equals whip punish, most damage and wall travel, two flips, come back manual or okay at the wall? No, it doesn't force you water's rush. It doesn't force you to do it. Because they, they already did it when Paul was doing the move. Right here. See, look at this. This is this is the answer to that one. Um, water's rush. Look at this. That's a heat engager move right here. That he can cancel with the heat dash. He doesn't have to do the heat dash, but he decided to do it right there. Hopefully that uh makes sense. And no, you don't. You don't have to do the um the heat engager. That's a button. They say it's a single button you press. They already went over that. We did regular death fist, and then he did one that was an engager with the um heat dash. See, that's the thing here, guys. Okay, well, if you use the heat smash by itself, it means you can also use it like a so-called rage drive. Oh no, Harada. Oh no. Oh no, that's not a raised drive. I'm glad they think so, but no. These engagers combined with the heat dash, oh, those are going to be the raised drives. And like we said, if you get the heat engager hit as a whiff punish or just as a mid, man, you get two of these. because <laughs> like i said pineapple or whoever they're saying like two mix-ups i'm saying you get you get two of these right you get two heat dashes that that only subtracts one that's death fist then you heat dash it they block it you know they lose the chip damage you do it again heat dash again that's the second mix-up and then the third mix-up comes after that, which you won't be able to use heat anymore, but you still get a mix-up if they block mid two times. So it's like you use <laughs> you use two heat dashes. Let's assume they block both of them. There's nothing you can do from the looks of it. From the looks of it, there's nothing you can do about it. You can just block their dashing. Then they implement whatever 50-50 they go for. You expand you, you use you expand two of them two of the heat energies to do two dashes that's two plus on blocks two overwhelmingly advantageous plus on block mid launchers <laughs> and then after you're done let's say they block successfully twice you're still in recovery from the second heat dash therefore that's mix up number three which has nothing to do with heat at that point your bar is completely expended so I hope you guys understand. So the third mix-up is the one that has no heat. So I'm saying this guarantees three mix-ups if you hit with a um, heat engager with punish. That's huge, guys. That is huge. The heat smash? I, uh, let's, let's look at this some more. 
そうですまさに、えー、とヒートスマッシュは本当に、えー、と鉄拳セブンでいうレイジドライブのような、うん、本当に強力な攻撃になって。They're saying heat smash is like a rage drive. That's a, you know, varies from character to character. Paul does the demo man.、Uh, Law uses the、uh, nunchucks and、uh, Jack does the, the, the thing where he smashes you with a gun. Yeah, they're talking about using heat smash in a combo, you know, kind of like a raise drive. So that's, that's going to be something that's cool. I think so, um, Soul Rack, yeah. Okay, so we're going to take a pause whenever they show King. I don't know what happened to the quality here, but let's set it. Wait, what? This move, this heat engager looks plus on block. They, they might need to change that. <laughs> But at least,、um, like all of this chip damage, it, it doesn't go down with the white here, so you can get all this back. Yeah, all of that is white, recoverable health. Yeah, so Law can get all that. He can get all that back. Yeah, so basically, it's like what we saw. Every time the opponent gets hit, you see a little bit of red flashing. So that's, that's、uh, signifying that there is some recoverable gauge. So. Or it's doing chip damage. So that's the visual cue. And you see the orange or whatever. Throws kill recoverable health. It's not here, right? Nah, it's not. But we can kind of look at the king. Part, which is a grab, and didn't look like he got any health back. Okay, effects during the heat state.、Uh, yeah, yeah, certain moves are greatly enhanced according to the character's specialty and characteristics. Again, that is totally whatever they decide the moves are. He explained the direction of the goal as the battle, but he wanted to develop the character's individuality、um, and characteristics more during the heat.、Uh, you believe Harada said that after Dash, you force 50 50? So definitely no side step. I know, I know. I think people are just not. I guess some of you guys are way too optimistic, which is fine. That is, that is fine to be super optimistic. I'm just saying that it wouldn't make sense if an overwhelming advantage could be sidestepped <laughs> or, or punch parried or something like that. I think overwhelming advantage means that、um, like it's totally your turn to attack whatever you decide to do. Within those frames, of course, I'm sure it's going to be a number like plus. What if it's plus 20? j e e z That'd be crazy. For example, about Paul, there are keywords like one hit kill as the power push characters. Power push character. A move that will normally have a guard advantage with the hold input might be able to break the opponent when in heat. Wow, that did a lot of chip damage, man. Look at that. That's like getting hit with like a, a low or something. 
That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. You see that? So if Paul does down one and holds it with the two, and you block this in heat, you get hit for free. Look how fast he recovers. It's no telling. Jabs might be the only thing guaranteed. I hope they are. But let's just let's just pretend it's high level tech and it might be back one two guaranteed or something or Iron Mountain. Something like that. Hopefully it's not a launcher. Hopefully it doesn't down forward to you and get a combo from that. Because then that'll mean people will start getting hit by the, the regular down one two release. ゆりひめのこんなはい、アップデート。そうです。まあ、逆に言うと、ロは、まあ、スピードのキャラクターで手数が多い。ラッシュキャラクター。ラオスはスピードキャラクター。ヌンチャクの攻撃が非常に強化
<laughs> Very cool RKO. And I love that, you know, the, the bounce right there. Puts him in that nice position. You know, the face up head towards position. So it says right here at the bottom of the screen, you can run towards the opponent. You can force a mix up with a throw and a middle attack. So we don't know what the mid looks like. Yeah, they have a yeah, they have a big um screen here for everyone in the crowd. That's really cool. So my my hope for this guys is that he has another grab. So hopefully, even though this is a double break animation, I hope it's either a one or a two. So that he has like a mix up for it. That's not just, okay, one plus two, we break it every single time and he doesn't have any other throw mix up to it. Meaning that in high level, you know, if your boy has to play against Knee or Arslan as you will never see this grab in history. Or any King player that plays any high level Tekken player in the tournament, you'll never ever see this grab. So um, that is my hope for whatever this running thing is with King. Is that it's either unbreakable or he has to mix up. Hopefully there's a, a one break and a two break. Yeah, because I, I don't want him to lose. You guys saw that, right? He lost, he lost a lot of health here. He lost a lot of health absorbing hits. So this this is pretty risky. The law did like the two forward two two or whatever. What did he do? What did he do? Yeah, two two two. What if he had just done one two? We don't know the tracking of that RKO, which it probably doesn't track, but we'll see. I don't know, but judge, yo, what's up, effect? I think, I think, um, the animation here does look like it might track a little bit. See, he's coming from this way, and then he's trying to snatch. Irish Whip already has really good tracking, so this could be the same, but we don't know. That's just pure speculation. But if Law would have done like one, one, two, he could have definitely ducked that grab. And if it's like sidesteppable, what if it doesn't turn into an air throw? He probably could have one, two, hop kick, launch. So yeah, I'm trying to um see what use that new running stance is going to have. So for you guys who don't know what you like this this running grapple, this is not new, guys. This isn't new. It's new to Tekken, but it's not new across all 3D fighters. So I wanted to bring up this video here of Wolf and um, try to get to the, the actual throws here. Because I wonder if he actually um, does it anywhere. Oh my goodness, King will never. You guys see that? Man, King would never have cool grabs like this. Yeah, I'm trying to find the part. If, if anyone can help me out with this video, where is the um the actual running throw? Wait, is that it? Now those are those are the catch grabs. I'm trying to look for his um running grab all right king that now that that would be dope this move here he has a catch he absorbs a hit and he can change that to to throws wouldn't it be cool if king had that <laughs> that is so dope he has um you said you wish that's the shining wizard yeah i think he probably already did those moves hold up i'm gonna just let the move um yeah that's his push unblockable 
King with Virtual Fighter moves would be sick. But yeah, all these moves that Wolf has, it would be cool if King had some of them. I'm not saying every single move. Kind of. Um, I forgot what the name. I think it was called something else. Okay, daily move. So this is the move here, guys. This is the new move that they gave King in Tekken 8. Daily move. You see? And he can go backwards with it, too. Then he has moves from it. See that knee right there that he just did? That knee is a mid. And you see what it does? After it hits, free cross throw. <clears> then <throat> he has that. So this is the grab here. That's a launcher. This grab is a real launcher for Wolf. And guess what, guys? It's unbreakable. Yeah, if he runs and gets this grab off, you can't break out of that. And it's a combo starter. And that's the mix-up if they try to duck. So yeah, that's that's exactly what they just gave King and Tekken 8. Like I said, it's not it's not new. Wolf already had this years ago. <laughs> so it's it's cool that they gave something similar to King. That's why I was hoping maybe this is unbreakable. But duckable. And hopefully he has like a, a cross throw a, a cross throw to where that's also unbreakable. Pedigree? Power bomb? I don't know. Maybe a pedigree. What do you guys think? Yeah, what's up, K Dash? What do you guys think about that? Which one would you guys rather have? Unbreakable throws? From that new running stance? Or would you want breakable but with ambiguous um, different breaks? Like a one break, then a totally different throw for a two break. Or do you guys just want them unbreakable but have like a, a cross throw extension that's also unbreakable? What do you guys think? You said curb stuff? Nah, that's, that's, too, that's too heelish, uh, Gold Lewis. Yo, congrats, Clint Logan. I don't play any Pokemon, but that sounds amazing. I know what uh, Charizard is. <laughs> what's up, Tenfu Ibis? You said, honestly, what's the difference? Unbreakable means if you don't duck that RKO, you're getting RKO'd. Having a one or a two break... Let's say if they're like both still RKO's, at least you can break out of it and you can guess. Because we already know like this, this running attack with King is not going to be done out in the open like how this example is showing. It's not. It's going to be an okay situation. In high level play, this is going to come out when you're already knocked down. This isn't going to just be up. Oh, we're full screen away. I'm gonna beat my chest and run over. Nah, it's not gonna it's not gonna get used like that. You'll be crazy to do that. You said clothesline from hell. <laughs> that would be cool if King had that. I mean four one plus two is kind of um already a clothesline from hell. But um What's up, Superman? Yeah, super capital punishment, that like button, Chad. Yeah, hit the like button. Yeah, we're talking about Tekken Nate going over this. He system looks pretty busted so far. Hopefully they um do some stuff to change it. But after this video is over, I'm going to um give my uh, opinion on King so far from what we see. I want to be optimistic about King, but so far it's only pessimism. But the dark green. Wait, 
攻め方の特徴だったり。Al, welcome back, dude. Thanks for rejoining, man. I think that the heat is a lot of fun. 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 But yeah, that, that pretty much covers like, the heat and stuff. So I think now they're just going to, going to、uh, show stuff. Great disadvantage, of course. そもそもでいうとその技の有利フレームとかそういうところは変わってないので、まあ、いっても自分から手を出すとか。ちゃんと差し込むところで差し込んでいかないと。OK、so let's, let's see. Okay, so they're talking about what do you do when you're on the receiving end of it. The basic advantage frames of moves have not changed. OK. So, better to guard on this situation and let it pass and make a move on your own. Let it pass. <laughs> Yo, these, these、uh, sentences, this, this wording is not very encouraging. Let it pass. Okay. Wait, what? Is that a contradiction immediately? You have to insert your hands where you can insert them properly, and you can't just wait and see what happens. Let it pass. Can't just wait and see what.、Uh, all right, whatever. I'm probably, I'm probably not reading this right, chat. Forgive me. Forgive me. Yeah, yeah, they're talking about frames and something else. Yeah. Okay, so. So, right here. Recommended to make a power crush move when you read that your opponent is going to make a move. Yeah, that's, that's how you use a power crush in the first place. Recommended for both the attacker and the blocker. The moment. To have some movesets are increased. Power crush has been enhanced. Okay. That, I mean, that's what a power crush has always been. Let it pass me sidestep? I hope so. Wait, what? Wait, what? The, so, the damage that you receive during a power crush is recoverable? Okay, maybe I didn't. Hold up. I think I probably didn't look at the king one correctly. This, it's in heat. It's in heat. This is a heat move. Okay, okay. No, it's a, it's a move that he can do without heat, though. But it's not a power crush until he's in heat. I guess that's the difference. I guess that's just the difference. Let's go back. It's a heat power crush. That's easier to understand, though, chat. That's easier to understand. My goodness, there is no recoverable damage on like any of these attacks that Paul is doing. Yo, do you guys see the range of down one? <laughs> What is this range? Was Law already doing something? 
the heck? Yo, look at that. <laughs> yeah, I was I was confused for just a second, but apparently, um, now that wasn't specified. They never said anything about it. We had to figure that out with you know good common sense and stuff. So King was in heat. That's not an official power crush, even though it's power crushing. So he doesn't get anything back that he loses. So regular power crushes do. And Paul's power crush looks like it's the same. My goodness. So basically, single hits. So what, what we can gather from this little uh, interaction here. Is that moves that aren't launchers? You don't get any white recoverable gauge. So pokes and stuff? And power crushes? Yeah, stuff like this. Now I did I did see some recoverable gauge on 4421. I did see that. But like regular pokes and stuff, you don't get any uh recoverable gauge. Yeah, see this power crush hits? There's no white health here. But it is, of course, for Paul since he's doing it. He's absorbing. So, um, but right there, the second hit of 4421 on block. This is white, recoverable. But Law got hit again right afterwards, so it went away. Yeah, he got hit by Iron Mountain. Yeah, so none of that stuff is recoverable. Yeah, but of course, in a juggle here, you get some recoverable. Yeah, we had talked about that. Falls while standing too. Got buffed. Doesn't flip them over. You just get a regular combo now. Very good for power players. If you can survive one attack or defense, you can then make up for it by making a move, doing your own defensive actions. You can rest assured of that. Okay. They're in a bad position. Yeah, Harada, yo, Superman 52 and Pineapple, you guys are correct. This was in the uh, Harada IGN interview. They didn't want to change it too much, and they didn't want to change it too little because of backlash from, you know, fans and stuff like that. Of course, they, they definitely went with the first option, which, you know, which is change too much because this is a lot of change. And like I said earlier in the stream, this is... If this was meant to make casual players and beginners have an easier time picking up and playing a game, uh, I don't know about that one. Heat already has four things about it at minimum. So um, you got that on top of all the moves that the characters are probably still going to have. So, okay, the, the controllers, I don't really care about that stuff. Let's, let's look at the... Um, Guard damage, because, yeah, some people are going to still use the, the controls. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know how this is going to work in, um, like, tournaments and stuff. They probably won't allow that. But if they do, I guess it's not a, it's not a bad thing. They could definitely allow this. Easy mode. Because all this stuff isn't the most optimal. So, uh, we'll have to see about that one. Look at the recoverable damage from the combo. I mean, I, I like... Now, that's something... That's a change I actually do like, chat. Like, um... This is okay. You can get some of this back. But of course, if you get hit again, it's gone. So this this is this is what they're doing to um kind of kind of reduce the damage.
Yeah, this is this is um because you guys remember a lot a lot of people are kind of kind of put off by Tekken with you know two combos and you're dead. This here, this recoverable health here, is kind of gonna it, it's going to fight that off a little bit. It's going to combat that. So he can get this much back if Paul just doesn't hit him again. If he blocks or gets hit by his attacks. He can get all this back. So that combo will only take this much. As opposed to half life and then you get hit again, you're dead. So this is this is kind of okay. I don't, I'm not mad at this. This is gonna reward you for having um like good defense and offense. This is gonna reward smart gameplay, I feel. And this is going to make rounds a little bit longer. That's the if it's a, you know, a back and forth type of game. But if it's like, you know, just one, one sided, of course, it's going to be real quick. But we'll see. Yeah, it, I think that this is this is really going to um, reduce the amount of rounds where it's just two launchers. That's it. Which again, like I said, this if, if they were trying to make the game more simple, then they fell flat. I don't know how in the world all of this, all these new mechanics is gonna make the game more more simple for a um a new player. Is it just me? What do you guys what do you guys think in the chat? Let me see. Let me see. Is this game going to be more easy for a new player? I want to see a thumb up. Let me let me see some thumbs up in the chat. If it's going to be harder, thumbs down. Let me see. I just want to see a show of hands. You guys got the emotes. Use them. Is it going to be easier for new players? Or is it going to be harder? So if you... if some people are in this stream right now that have never touched Tekken. So let me see. Do you guys think this entire... This was 30 minutes, guys. This was 30 minutes about the new mechanics of Tekken 8. And along this stream here, this two-hour stream so far, even I got confused with something. Yeah, I'm not a rocket scientist, but at the same time, I'm not crazy. So, um, okay, lots of thumbs downs. Lots of thumbs downs. Yeah, lots of them. Just a few, just a few thumb ups. Hold up. Yeah, I, I agree with, with the majority here. I think this is going to be a lot more complicated. This is way more complicated. You think, yo, Tenfu Ibis, yo, yo, you think this is, um, yo, what's up, Shin Blade? Yo, we were just talking about this. This game is nuts. But, um, I think if they went for, like, trying to, to make this game easier for a new, a new player, a new Tekken player, and they didn't make the game none legacy. So everyone's keeping, Arata just said it, we just went over it. The frames are the same of your moves that are plus. He he already said that. So Paul's regular hammer of the gods, uh, whatever King's um, uh, capital punishment, probably still plus two. He said that it's gonna be the same, which is telling us all that the moves are going to still be similar. We're gonna still have around you know the ballpark of over a hundred moves per character. Oh, okay, maybe not a hundred. So about you know what Kuma, the you know the Bears, Claudio, they have around like sixty plus moves. So you got about sixty moves. Then you got the you know the king in of things, which is one hundred eighty three. Then they're gonna be like reanimations and stuff. So we can't exactly say this game is gonna be like Tekken Strive. Because uh, Guilty Gear Strive was like a, a complete reset. Mostly everyone's normals were different and 
You couldn't do certain, you know, gathering strings. Moves got taken away completely and replaced with others that are trash. Um, it's just a lot. Tekken is still a legacy fighter. And all of the stuff. So people were having a hard time learning Tekken 7 mechanics. So far, the only one that they have confirmed that isn't in the game is Rage Drives. There were people having issues learning a single character in Tekken 7 because they had so many moves. Then they had to learn what's a homie move, what's a power crush, you know, what, what is a move that um, is a good low, what is a launcher, um, all of that stuff. What's your tail spins? You brought all this over to Tekken 8. Now you add the heat system which has four uses. <laughs> and add recoverable gauge too. Man, if you aren't playing Tekken right now, you're, if you're not starting with Tekken 7 right now, I implore you, get started, guys. Because the load of knowledge increases. The, the load of the amount of information you guys are going to have to start to, to adapt and pick up and learn is it's going up it's going up you're gonna have to learn this because people are gonna be wondering why why is it my heat why did it run out when i did this or did you know it's it's gonna be a lot of questions that newcomers are gonna have yeah because you, you guys have to remember a lot of new people a lot of new players struggle to even get Paul's death fist to come out. So this game, I think they just made it more complicated for, for newer players. Cause obviously it's, it's going to be a lot for even top players or former top players like myself to pick this stuff up and get it mastered. But I, I think I think it's not gonna take um Death Fist might be one button. <laughs> they did say in these uh controller styles, um you can get a whole like suboptimal combo to come out just by hitting triangle. But um I think they did make things more complicated though. Because you have all the all the mechanics from Tekken 7 minus raise drives, you bring them all over to Tekken 8. And you add heat and recoverable gauge. That whole oasis of, of new mechanics with a bunch of moves per character. Yeah, this is going to be difficult. Yeah, this is going to be difficult. I will. I will. I will definitely master all this stuff in a, like a relatively short time. You will need a dedicated input for going into heat. It's just, all that stuff is just one button. <laughs> heat burst is uh, R1. R2 is rage art. All of that stuff is, that's, that's okay with it being more simple, but I'm just talking about the amount, like a casual Tekken player is going to have to learn, like all the stuff from Tekken 7 and the Tekken 8 stuff. Yeah, so he's talking about one button low attacks and stuff. So the circle button is going to be the low attack. Of course, like I mentioned earlier, chat, like I mentioned earlier, they said this is characteristics. So... I'm gonna I'm gonna get into it after this is over. Let me just let this thing play the rest of the way. We got about five minutes. We got about five minutes. So we're gonna have to see some um, new moves with King come Jivo Japan. Yeah, that right there, what he just did was a um a ultimate cash out right there. See what he did here was what we mentioned. He hit with a uh, heat engager attack. 
which gives you two bars of heat energy. Law failed at blocking the, the mid mix-up, which is a launcher, hop kick. So Paul gets the regular combo extender here. No heat required. As we already saw. What's up, Mugen? As we already saw, this is just a a mechanic of the game. Everyone has this. This is the new tailspin. Paul does Death Fist. Heat Engager again. Which is one of five moves per character. Does the Heat Dash. Minus one Heat Energy. Law is rolling his... <laughs> He is rolling, rolling. <laughs> and then Paul uses instead, instead he could he could have went for another heat dash right there. He could have done that, but he cashed out with the uh, the heat smash. So does that animation? Heat is gone for that round. So, um, it's just going to be a matter of what characters, you know, what, what each character's moves are going to be. Like, what are they, like, what are they going to do for their five heat engager attacks? You can only dash one time in a combo? That hasn't been, um, let me see, let me see. I don't, I don't think that was specifically said, but, um, you said it in this? It's around 20 minute mark in the subtitles. Okay. 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 Cool. Cool. Alright, Tenfu Ibis, have a great one, dude. Okay, so that was in the combo, guys. Indigenous, Funk, and K-Dash. You can only dash once per combo, right? What about on block? Because, uh... You still have two two bars. My goodness. That is pain. I don't know about those sound effects. They sound a little weak, but that's just my my personal um, grievance. So yeah, we went to that and let's look at the uh, conclusion. Paul did it earlier. He dashed twice. I'm not talking about the the um the engager part. I don't count that dash. The get the the dashes that I'm counting are the ones where you're already in heat. All right, Superman, have a great one, dude. Got to grind Destiny 2 stuff. Have fun, man. I'm going to talk about King and what I want and, you know, what we think. What's up, Big J? Yeah, so they're, they're talking about... You said he dashed twice in heat? Brown sugar? Okay, okay. Yeah, I know you. I know you get two of them, but it wasn't in a combo. Yeah, see, what I'm talking about is the combo that he did. What did he do? Why did he call that countering heat? I'm trying to I'm trying to look for that that big combo that he did. Yeah, I think this was it here. 
Yeah, he did a, a super cash out here. Oh my goodness. This is scary, guys. Look at that. None of that's recoverable. That's that's straight damage. Okay, let me let me look one more time. This is a real possibility in a in a round, guys. So you use your rage up. Yeah, this deletes your recoverable gauge here. And depending on how much life Paul has left, he has, um, this looks like right when you get rage. So that, that rage arc could have been way more damaging. And you know what? Rage arts are knocked down here. What about other characters? He still has heat. He still has the ability to do a death fist, whether it hits or gets guarded, overwhelming advantage. This is this is possible right here and right now. After he just took all your life, that is crazy. <laughs> he could definitely run up and do something. And also, remember, he's in heat. Every hit is chip damage. It's recoverable, but they're all chip damage. And he can also run up and do a heat smash, which is a, a demo man. So we don't know how unsafe or if it's safe or whatever. We don't know the frames. But what if his heat smash is safe? What if all heat smashes are safe? I don't think they, uh, they mentioned that in this video. Because I know they said um, heat burst. All of those are plus on block. Obviously on hit two. So um, this is pretty concerning. Just lie down until his heat is finished. You can't do that, T-Saw. You can't do that. See, look at this. Look at the heat gauge. While law is grounded look at it it doesn't start to deplete until he gets back up if law would have stayed there would have stayed grayed out they've already confirmed that the heat gauge does not deplete on a grounded opponent so you're, you're just giving them a chance to, to run up on you and hit you for free and until you get up that's when it'll finally go down but it's going to be an okie situation so they're going to hit you with some move that's plus on block you know hammer of the gods four one plus two and then go for 50 50. so what if paul does like up four two i think that moves like super plus right you know the jump and punch that wall bounces what if he still has that attack and it's still super plus That is crazy. So that means he can just run up and just keep attacking, keep having the chip damage. That is crazy if you think about how people are gonna like start to use this stuff in high level. It's really crazy. What's up, Thomas? You said the health bar is pretty though? Yeah, the, yeah, the, the UI is um, amazing. And you just won't keep it long if you um, get completely overwhelmed by continuously being put in overwhelmingly disadvantageous situations. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful for sure, but man. Man, oh man. So yeah, we let's just go back to um King here. Where was King? Yeah, I think King was over here somewhere. Yeah, I love that they showed King's uh intro.
あの原さんあの使ってもらえるのとキングは、はいはい、えっ、ー、とまあプロレス。OK。Let's talk about King just a second here with what they've showed. So apparently the new running stance, they have confirmed the grab and they have confirmed a mid. The only thing we know about it is that when he does the stance, it's just like a regular stance, like regular Jaguar or something. He's completely vulnerable until he's in heat. Wait, what? You guys saw those effects on King before he got hit? He was like gaining momentum. What was he about to do here? Those are those are like some good effects. Does everyone do this? When you run and you gain some steps? Yeah, this is some sort of effect here. That's really cool. Yeah, you see that? He points, runs, starts to heat up or something. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what that is. It's probably just a running effect. That's probably all it is. Say power crush? Nah, that, that wasn't a power crush since he got hit. <laughs> now this here... Cool animation. Okay, so that when he points right here, of course, you see the, the power crush white stuff right there. Pointing power crush. Yeah. So like I said, I'm concerned about this. That was a lot of life from just 222. Two, two. What about moves that are like super strong? I think Steve will be able to do like one, two, one, two and duck in council and duck up under this grab here. But yeah, so with King, like I said, I'll reiterate this again. The first choice, the, the first thing, first and foremost, we want this grab here to be unbreakable. I think that's how balance works. I mentioned this in my last stream when they first showed this over the weekend. That will be bounced because remember power crushers do lose to, to, to throws and they also lose to lows and it's possible to sidestep them we don't know about this in particular we don't know if you can step this i'm just telling you guys how to beat power crushes you know the possibilities of beating them out so if it's a high and unbreakable I will like it. Now the mid extension, we don't know what that is. We have no idea what the mid is. Hopefully the mid is safe. If the mid is unsafe, then King players probably won't be using this a lot. Because look at the risks. You risk getting hit for free. This grab does hurt. This is this is definitely like 45 damage here. That looks like 45 damage. Like an Armor King um, Shining Wizard? Yeah, this looks like 45. That's, that's, that's a pretty high damaging throw. So, um, you said it might be his new Shining Wizard? Nah, I don't think so, Shadow. I've seen a lot of people say that. I don't think this is going to be a replacement for Shining Wizard. But yeah. It doesn't follow the rules of a regular power crush. So King gets no recoverable gauge here. After he hits with it, whatever he lost is gone. Yeah, whatever he lost is gone. So if Paul was on the other end already in heat and he does like death fist, he dashes and death fist again <laughs> before King can grab him. What if it's breakable? What if Paul does that? King runs up, Death Fist, he dashed, Death Fist. And then he does the grab and Paul breaks it. 
Yo, that would be hilarious. Lee bad. That would be horrible. See, that's the issue. Even with this, just 222, two, two, that took a lot of damage. So I'm just hoping that um this grab here is it's possible like to land this in a real match. Because like I said, you're only going to see this in high level from a Oki standpoint. Yeah, it's only going to be from an Oki situation at most. I don't think any King player in their right mind is going to like get that kind of distance and just do it. Knowing the risk involved, especially if the throws are breakable. Yo, thank you, Big J. So Shining Wizard is gone? No, no, no. I just want to know if you can choose when to heat engage. Yeah, you can, K Dash. Yeah. Someone asked about that earlier. Yeah, I think it's right here. Oh, no, 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 no. Wherever it was. Whatever. He did it. He did it with with that new like power dunk looking move. You can choose. You can choose to do it. But thanks again, Big J. Yeah, this move right here. See, he's choosing not to do it. All you got to do is hit the R1 button to do the heat dash. Yeah, you don't you don't have to always do like the um the heat dash or the heat engage cuz he already did it like around the beginning of the video to um like do a regular death fist and then one that um so on block is never going to happen unless you're already in heat. If you're already in heat, then you can definitely do heat dash and like heat engage. But like a death fist after like round one fight, you know, there's no heat activated. You can't do a death fist on block and then do any kind of heat anything. It's just going to be an unsafe death fist. You have to hit with it to do the heat engage. So, yeah, I definitely understand how this stuff works now. It's, um, I think it's a lot to take on and how you actually use it in the real round is um definitely going to um be important you can power crush out of them doing heat stuff yeah definitely that yeah they said you can do that from anything so like right here where he's not doing um any type of heat dash or, or anything you can power crush him and make him waste his bar like he only has one uh, bar of heat energy. If he were to like do a heat dash right there and Law did a power crush, it would have like de it'll delete the heat. So um, also sidestepping and punishment. Now we don't know about that one, uh, Thomas. We don't we don't know about that one because um, the heat engager looks silly. See that's plus on block right there. The heat burst. That's super plus on block, the heat dash. Yeah, because like I said, we don't, we don't have a clue of what like the, the tracking is or like the sidestepping is with this game. We have no idea. So um, right now this stuff is looking really crazy. All right, so let's take a look at the... Um, the Nina, hold up. Take a look at Nina here. Yeah, because this stuff here was actually very alarming. But let's let's go back. Yeah, I can move myself back down here. You think that the um hold up 
the heat mechanic could mean that Akuma will be back. There's no point. There's no point in having Akuma. Everybody's Akuma now. Bro, what is up with the quality? Why doesn't it just stay 1080p? Oh, wow, that's that's silly. Yeah, we're just gonna look at this stuff here. So what she just hit with? Some new homing attack. Well, hold up. I know you guys are gonna get... What is that? Turn him sideways. Oh, wow. That attack gives her a cancel. She can crouch dash cancel after that. Wow, that's that's pretty serious. That's a good new move. It looked homing. Yo, thank you, uh, Big J. It's still Tekken at its core. It's just that it's it's different. It's it's going to be different and um, like they say, way more aggressive. Yeah, that is uh, you guys see that? She does the attack and crouch dashes. He kicks you. Oh, see, that was, that's a homing attack, guys. That's a homing attack. Let's look at the visual cue. Look at what Paul tried to do before he got hit. Side step. He's trying to step. So this green effect here is the new homing. It's no longer the little white misty stuff, the little white particles. So the homing attack is green. These are context clues. I, I could still be wrong, but... No, I'm not wrong about this. This is this is super homing. So she does this homing kick. Paul is spinning around still. She's already dashing for it. Well, her mix-up game is gonna be crazy. Yeah, this is yo, look at that. Paul is still <laughs> He's still in the animation. She is still dashing. Okay, she decides to do while standing four. She could definitely do any kind of cross dash move that she wants. Throws, wipe the floor. She does a side step here. Side step four into two. New move. And I don't know if this guarantees another hit or if Paul can like potentially just hold back and spin away. Yeah, because this looks like you could probably hold back. Okay, Iron Mountain. Back one four, reanimated. Really good hit stun. My goodness. So, yeah, that's going to be a, a thing there. So that looks like one of her uh, heat engager moves, guys. That was that was definitely a uh, heat engager. Yeah, this is heat engager. She can she can do that if she wants to. All right, so you guys see that? So this is her combo extender. Something four into what four again? Wait, four? I don't know how to do this move. That wall carry, like I said, that that wall carry is already very concerning with the bullets. And that's definitely a regular move she can do. Look at how far he flew away. If he was just a little bit more to this side, like they were just a little bit more aligned with the wall, he would have definitely hit that wall. Yeah, this was no heat either, guys. She just, that's a part of the stream. Okay. The same homie move she just did at the beginning of the uh, clip here. Balls flats. Regular combo in that she already has that in uh, Tekken 7. What? Could that be a heat engager? 
Probably not. I, I doubt it. I doubt that one. This here, I don't know. I don't know, chat. I just don't know. You got... If you could do, like, heat engagers with... Okay, so... Blowing bomb is... Oh, my goodness. So, that's definitely... What did she start it with? That looks like a mid, but it could be a low. Hold up. You said that was KO? Probably. So, Lars is um doing down back 1-3. She does a power crush blind bomb. Still the same power crush. This looks like heat smash. Let's see here. Okay, that's a mid. That's a mid. Wow, sends them so far away. That's the thing about these um these heat smashes. It's been very consistent, Chad, like with every character that they've shown so far. Looks like it sends them flying away pretty far. Okay, that's a regular uh, heat burst. Now this... These must be a bunch of high attacks. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking this is... um. Like a, a, a high or something. It could jail though. It could very well jail. Looks like Lars got a new low from dynamic entry. Yeah, we'll have to go back and look at that. Yeah, that's definitely a high right there. High. He blocks it, but can he duck this here? Looks like he's still in guard stun before she even shoots. Yeah. He might not be able to duck this. This might jail. She sidesteps back four like it's nothing. Stage blows up. New move. Running three into three. New move. And you have to hold back to back roll here, I'm sure. Okay, so Slap is a heat engager. Let's see. She's already in heat, though. But it's still a move that you can heat dash, therefore it's still a um, heat engager. Hmm. Okay, I see. I see what you mean. So, Lars is doing a new animation for Dynamic 4. Okay, let's let's go back. So whatever that move Nina just did. Look, what what was this? Down forward three two. So this is down two two, I guess. New tail spin and supercharge the the blonde bomb here, and he slides. But you're not tech rolling right here. That looks new. You probably can't do anything about that. Okay, so let's let's slow this down. Whatever Lars is going for here. Cuz it sounds like like the 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 sound of a uh hell sweep. I love the new dynamic entry with the lightning. That's really cool. Yeah, so I'm guessing that low is probably his new hell sweep. Yeah, and that has a pretty huge uh, hitbox, obviously. You said really slow? Yeah, we already looked at Lars's Goodbye. lifeless face. That was disappointing. <laughs> so yeah, you guys see like with this with this trailer here, she did so much new stuff. 
almost everything she did was new. You said Lars is new lowest low? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, to say new challenger. So hopefully, hopefully, Chad, we get to see this from a lot of characters. Like a whole bunch of new animations. All this stuff was new. She started the trailer off with a new homing move. That's new. And of course, the, the follow up with a dash is new. That's new. That's two new moves. Reanimated. That's new. Back one four. That's another new move. And that was a new move. That's we're already up to five or six new moves right now. Isn't it past your bedtime? Of course, yeah, that's a uh, heat smash, obviously. That's a new move. It's this yeah, this is not this is not an old move, chat. This is not an old move. Pay attention. Four. This isn't down forward three. This is a new new move. She's kicking with a right leg. So this is not the down forward three four into the the low or the or the overhead. This is a new move. She's doing this from Magic Four right here. You see that? And that's four like normal. He tried to do something, got counter hit launched. Yeah. Of course, that's definitely new. That's new. That's new. Yeah, that is crazy. Yeah. High, high, low. Scrubby string, yeah, probably so. So yeah, guys, this is um, this is definitely something else, I must say. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully that um, like shed some light on, like the heat system. We definitely went over that thoroughly, and that makes things very uh complicated, and it also makes things very worrying. The fact that they took away rage drives, right? But they replaced them with heat engage and heat dash. And obviously heat burst. Like, you can use heat burst as a launcher. She did it in this very trailer. She did heat burst in this same trailer. Which could be a rage drive. But the thing is, you don't need rage to do it. You can do it as soon as the round starts. Did we watch the how you counter the heat part yet? Yeah, we watched that already. You were here, Tom. Yeah, you can just power crush or, you know, <laughs> defend properly. Yeah, they didn't tell us, uh, okay, this this is what you do every time, you know. this It's going to work every time. Nah, it's, it's not that simple. There's no, like, anti-heat thing like that. Because we know how power crushes work. They're not equal amongst the cast. So if someone is in heat doing chip away one two one twos, yeah, King isn't going to be able to do that slow power crush and stop it. <laughs> yeah, they will be able to just jab, block that power crush, and take your life. So, um, yeah, I think, um, so this, let's, let's go back to the other video. Let's go back to the other video. And let's just start to talk about the characters that, uh, this stuff is going to, um, oh, Harada. Yeah, let's yeah, speed this up. <laughs> let's talk about the characters that this stuff is really going to benefit. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to look at that part. 
Why is a rod always dripping? Yeah, a rod always does have the uh the drip. This is but anyways, chat, this is going to definitely benefit the characters who have 50-50s that are strong. Like for sure. So let's let's talk about King. Let's talk about King for a second, chat. Cause I know Harada in, in like the last trailer, he was talking about how King is gonna do something. People were like, okay, King is gonna be broken or cheesy or something. So far, after like thoroughly looking at all these mechanics, I I highly disagree with that. Unless he has some new moves. Unless he has some, some new moves. They speed up down back four by like 15 frames. Um I don't know. Like, we know Paul. We have Paul here. He's a very good example of a strong character with the heat. He does a death fist and does the heat engage. He will punish us with a death fist. He gets two of these bad boys. We know this. He does death fist guaranteed again. Nothing you can do about it. You block it, he's super plus. Overwhelming advantage. If you get hit by it, it's a launcher. Okay, what does he have as a low to kind of compare? His heat smash by itself is a low. Does about like 30% of your life. Um, he can do regular demo man. That's unsafe. But he has a low that is strong. He has two options to go low. Strong lows. So this this will be your Pauls, your Kazuyas, your Lars, you know, with the hell sweeps and stuff. Slide characters. Um, whoever has a, a strong low. Horong, you know, down 3-4 into Oblivion. And we don't know what all of the uh, heat smashes are. We know Paul's heat smash is a low. Paul's is a mid. Nina's is a mid. Jax is a mid. We've already seen these. So, the characters with strong 50-50s are definitely going to eat. If Leroy is on the game, he's, he has Hell Sweep. So, yeah, if, you, if you've got good lows, this heat system is, is really going to be good. So, let's talk about King for a second. This is the, this is the problem. So, King, of course, he's going to have the, the strong mids. Every character is going to have the strong mids for the heat engagers, which are cancelable by heat dash. We don't know what kings are. We don't know exactly what they are going to be. Uh, probably 4-2-1. I think, I think 4-2-1 is, is definitely going to be one of them. He might get a new move like Paul has the, uh, the jumping move. Mm. Yeah, Paul has the jumping move here, as you can see. King might have something new similar to this. Where if they get hit by it, then, yeah, it's a launcher. If you heat dash cancel, if you do it regularly, it might be safe. You know, stuff like that. So we know King is going to be good. Every character on the game is going to be good as far as the mid heat engage moves. Those five moves. But what I'm saying is, what is it going to be? scary like a scary move that king has after he gets the overwhelming advantage on block from one of these five heat engagers getting guarded counseled by um a heat dash so that's that's where i think the um the balance is gonna start tilting to the characters who have strong 50 50s because if you have a strong 50 50 then your heat engagers accompanied with the heat dash is really going to create an unavoidable, uninterruptable 50-50 mid-low mix-up. King doesn't have any lows that are anywhere near as threatening as a Paul Demo Man or a Paul Heat Smash, as you see. If he wants to just cash out, cash out his full heat energy, he has a low heat smash. So what will King have to be competitive with, with these 50-50 characters? And I'm not, I'm not talking about no 
you do a move and, and heat dash cancel and have enough time to do a crouch dash multi or enough time to do a jaguar step multi, you know it's not that plus. It's overwhelmingly plus, yes. But those those grabs and stuff, I'm, that stuff is like 30-something frames. <laughs> so he's not going to be able to do something 30-something frames. We've already looked at this, and we see, like, you're not you're not going to be super plus like that. You're super plus, but not like no plus 40. So that rules out crouch dash multis. That rules out Jaguar stuff. Those can be interrupted. That's too slow. So what is King going to do? He's, he's going to have to get some new moves, chat. That's what I'm saying. He's probably going to get a new low. He's probably going to get some new mids. And the throws, we have no idea. Maybe a... Um, a breakable throw. Unbreakable throw, I mean. We don't know which characters, if any, will be OP. Yo, it's Raf. We are already looking at Paul. <laughs> we are literally looking at Paul here. I'm trying to I'm trying to look at um Where is it? Where is it? I wish I knew exactly where they had it. Look at th look at this. Yo, it's Ralph. Look at this. This is a heat smash. This is Paul's heat smash. Plus on block, he smash, free low attack. Now we don't know how negative that is if it's blocked. Now that's what we don't know. So you're right with that one, it's Ralph. Yeah, we don't know what the um, what the heat smashes are like on block. Because they never said in this video if they are unsafe or disadvantages or whatever. They never said that. So um, that is that is something that's kind of alarming. So what is King going to do for 50-50? Yeah, just duck it and eat a death fist launch with heat dash. Exactly. Yeah, there is no just do this, guys. There is no just do it. That's we're beyond that. We are way beyond that. Yeah, they haven't. Well, they they specified plenty of things. Uh, sniper tray. They oh, they have definitely this. This is thirty six minutes of uh specifications. <laughs> Man said just block. Well, since we're we're all humans in here watching, right? You guys know there's like human reaction times and stuff. It's pretty much um understood that something that is 16 frames fast or like 16 to 20 frames is unseeable as far as a low and mid. So um just got to do heat better than the other guy. That is definitely true too, indigenous. Yeah, you have to do your heat better than the other guy. But yeah, that that is just something that I'm talking about. Like as far as King, he doesn't so far it, it just doesn't look good. We we don't know what his new moves are. So we can still hold on to hope that he can be just as cheap as say Paul here with a um plus on block death fist. Of course, when he's already in heat and he uses heat dash. From the Death Fist Heat Engager. Hopefully King has a new powerful low or something like that. So um, we will see. We don't know what King's new moves are. But of the new moves we've seen with Paul. And again we don't know all of his new moves either. But we do know that his Heat Smash is a low attack. We know that Demo Man is a low attack. That's two super powerful lows he can use for free after a heat dash, block or heat.
You hear me? I said block or hit. <laughs> I've said hit too much. Yeah, block or hit. So yeah, this is um quite alarming. So let's let's just go back to um Tekken Seven really quick here. So let me let me let me show you my concerns. Some of you guys are more visual learners than others, right? So um, we already got Paul. We know what Paul can do. I'm just saying. Yeah, the UI is beautiful. The the graphics, I like the graphics too. Now Paul's hairstyle, not not so much. So I'm saying King does his heat engager. We already know pretty much it's gonna be four or two one as one of them. Say they, they block it, right? They block this. King heat dashes. He gets uh, plus whatever. What is he going to do that is a low mid 50 50 that hurts? We know the mids. If he does this again and you like get hit by it, you're launched. If you do whatever other one of the four or five heat engagers that he has that are mids, probably all mids. They will definitely launch. They're definitely plus on block. But I'm saying the low, what reason do you have to duck King after he does his heat dash? That's the question I have for you guys, chat. Please do not say throw him. Please don't say throw. Why, why am I saying not, not to say throw? Because the throws are breakable. He's not going to be able to do unbreakable muscle buster, unbreakable giant swing. That would be broken. And we don't want broken. We don't need broken. I'm saying what low is he going to do after a heat dash on block? An alley kick and be negative? Down three and they laugh at you? Oh, he, he's going to heat he smash and do 15 damage. Look at Paul. Look at what he gets. 40. I can't even do the just frame. You said jumping too? Are you talking about this? <laughs> Yo, how do you do his uh, blue sparkle? Yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was, um, yeah, I can't, I can't do it. Okay, there it is. You say you just get good? <laughs> you wait and see? That's exactly what we're all going to have to do. But as far as King goes, I'm hoping he gets some new lows to kind of help him, you know, Help him apply some mix-ups. Man said do giant swing. <laughs> Down back three could do much more only in heat. Like Law's nunchucks. Yeah, we know about that. Most of those, well, all of those, they haven't shown a single low that does more in heat yet. All of those were mids. So, you guys could be right. You could be right, Yvonne. Maybe down back three will become a, a launcher. But geez, who wants that though? I don't want a, a launching low in from, from Heat Dash. You guys don't know how balance works. I don't want imbalanced stuff. I want something that's comparable. Something to keep him competitive and high level. Hey, I don't even... Yo, chat, I don't even want this to always be this in heat. I don't want that. That's too much damage. And I, I certainly don't want them to reduce the damage. Yeah, we want... We, we don't want broken, like, trash. We want balance. Actually, what would happen if you heat dash into up forward two? No, you heat dash and then you recover standing. Then you can do whatever you want after that. It's not like a crazy 
momentum thing. But we just we we just don't know. You said a low throw. <laughs> that could that could be possible. That's that's exactly what this is here. It's a low. You can block it, but on counter hit it turns into a throw. But I'm just saying, like a angry, like take this low away from him, and just make it like an angry wrestling stomp or something. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully that's what they do. I don't know what they're gonna do with King to to make him competitive. Cause if that RKO is breakable and he doesn't have any other throw from that stance, then that's that's what you call useless. You guys know that, right? Yeah, if that RKO is the only grab from that new running stance, and it's breakable. Useless. Cause then it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be as useful as this right here, chat. <laughs> Two break every time. Nobody who's really good at Tekken is gonna ever get hit by this. You'll never see this. You'll never see that RKO. If it's breakable and that's the only grab he has, you'll never see it in high level. Guaranteed. Never. So hopefully they they do something that um keeps King you know competitive with everyone else. I hope not, Sniper Trey. <laughs> but yeah, it does it does look similar to to this. Yeah, it does look very similar. Yeah, that new animation looks very similar to the Irish Whip. But um hopefully um Hopefully he has something to mix it up with. Cause even even like Irish Whip, you hardly ever see it land in a match. Hardly ever see it land because it's oh one plus two. He doesn't have a mix up for it, so you still get away with one two throw. No, I'm talking about you're in high level. You're in a tournament against someone who plays against King all the time. You're not landing 1-2 one, into this. It's not happening. You're not landing 1-2-1 one, one into this. It's not happening. I don't... Yo, Army, I don't want that. I don't, yo, chat, I don't want all of his regular throws to be unbreakable in heat. I don't want that. I just want him to be kind of on par with everyone else. Like make a low do something more, like the like Yvonne said earlier. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Maybe speed this up. Maybe instead of twenty nine frames, make it twenty. Yeah, I don't. I don't want. Uh, I don't want King to. To be crazy broken or nothing like that. I don't want him to be broken at all. I just want him to be fair and competitive with everyone else. Because you guys see, King is look at Tekken 7 King, for example. At the highest level of Tekken 7, you don't see this character at all. You don't see King at all. And he's cheap as crap on this game. He's really cheap. Yeah, change the frames or something. Down three becomes plus ten or something. Yeah, that's I'm fine with that. Do something to make him competitive. Give the opponent a reason to duck. But I don't know. Down three plus ten. That ain't. That ain't um, you know, that's not very competitive there. When Paul can can do a death fist for a demo man, or. Or he smashed Demo Man. So, um, yeah, that's... We're gonna need something else. <laughs> We're gonna need something else. Maybe in Heat only, down three, he can he can hit one plus two for a just frame, and, and he does a, um, a, a suplex. <laughs> if it hits. But it has to be a just frame. Something, something similar to this. 
I'm saying if if Paul has a reason to make you duck after his heat dash, everyone should. Or else it's automatic, you know, that Paul is going to be top tier. Automatically. And this is this isn't just a king problem. I know Heihachi is, you know, probably dead in the story. I don't know for sure. I, I never played um I never played story mode for this game. But Heihachi. He has down back too, but that's that's death on block. And it's not that much on hit. That's why I said like characters with super strong 50-50s, they're gonna eat with this new heat. So they, they have to do something. I don't know what they're gonna do with, with the balance of, of Tekken 8, but we'll see. So I'm more optimistic. Caleb McCain. Let me tell you the changes I actually like. I like the new animations. I like the new like character models, except for Paul. Paul, his new model sucks. His new outfit sucks. The new hairstyle is sucks. Everything sucks. Except for what you know how strong he is. He's definitely strong on Tekken 8. Yeah, the new the new moves, I like the new moves, the new animations, all that stuff is really great. I like how the stages look. I'm sure the music is probably going to slap too. The new health bars look amazing. I love it. But um the the recoverable health, I'm uh, I'm on the fence with that one. I personally wish there was no chip damage at all. However, since we are at this point here, we're at this point here. We saw in the video that whenever you get launched, you know, the opponent does whatever combo to you, you get some recoverable white health. So when you get up after that combo and you win in the uh, Oki situation, you win on the uh, next ex exchange, you can get some health back. Of course, if you get hit again, then you lose all that. But that's, that's going to make it so that it's not two launchers and that's the end of a round so that's that's a plus about the uh, recoverable gauge facts shim blade facts yeah they should have went with paul's uh tekken 4 like the tekken 4 ending hair laid down what's up killer prince you also get health by guarding well if they guard your attacks you don't get your health back when you block and you have the white health. They said you just don't lose the recoverable gauge if you're blocking. What other game did that? Bloodborne. <laughs> yeah, Bloodborne did that. Where you get hit in the, the little red health you can hit the enemy and um you can get that health back yeah that was that was a bloodborne thing that they're now it's in tekken <laughs> who else seen your lars get destroyed by nina at least we saw his his hell sweep got reanimated it looked it looked like the second hit of his uh one four that's something Big Majin pointed out to me. So I had to look at the trailer again. And yeah, he, he does do a new animation for, for this. Yeah, he doesn't do that. It looks like this. Yeah, it looks like he does dynamic into that. Like a slower version. So hopefully, he keeps the frames. Just does one hit. But we don't know. His health, we might be a freaking hell spin or something. Yeah, he might be able to do this, and then he kicks them up and they twirl. We we have no idea. No earthly idea. But we do know dynamic entry is actually dynamic. You think Steve will be OP in Tekken 8? Yes. Yeah, Shinblade. Yeah, Shinblade and every other Steve player is going to eat in Tekken 8. They are definitely going to eat. Yeah. Because, like I said, the characters with good 50-50s, 
like a strong low at least a strong low a strong mid like characters that give you a reason to duck see steve this move sucks in the neutral it absolutely sucks this move is only good in oki situations or if the opponent's back is against the wall but with that heat dash you ain't getting away from this attack you're not getting away from this attack after steve does a uh, a heat dash so you're gonna have to guess this is a good reason to duck against steve look at it that's all guaranteed even though i just messed it up yeah what is that they'll probably change the damage i don't know they might not yeah that's that's guaranteed guys so that's a pretty good reason you don't want to give him a, a free low every time he does a heat dash or a heat engage but what are going to be his heat engaging mids i'm pretty sure rocket launcher is going to be one of them I'm pretty sure Sonic Fang is going to be one of them. I am, yo, I, I know Sonic Fang is going to be one of them. It has to be. It's definitely going to be one of his heat engagers. You will forget Steve? Bah. They roll, he runs up. Then he can do it again and he dash. And it's going to be a launcher like his rage drive. Doc Green? Yeah, Fing is definitely going to be strong. Why wouldn't he be? He has good lows. He has good lows. Yeah, that's that's five raise drives. Yeah, indeed. Five. Six if you include Heat Smash. Seven if you include Heat Burst in a combo. So, yeah, they, they took away raise drives officially, you know, only being able to do them in rage and now you can do what seven of them now you get five heat engagers those are all five potential rage drives heat burst the activation of heat remember if you launch them and do heat burst that's going to be a combo extender and remember you can also do your regular tail spin first then heat burst and then finish the combo that's a raise drive too. Everyone's heat burst is a raise drive. That's six. That's six raise drives. And then you got the official raise drive, which is heat smash. That's when you delete your entire uh, heat gauge and do that cutscene attack. It's not a rage art, but it's a raise drive. So you, yeah, everyone has seven. <laughs> yeah, you have seven raise drives in Tekken Eight. So, so all you guys who were um, happy that they they took our raise drives, isn't he only usable once per round? Isn't raise drive only usable once per round, right now? Yeah, can't you only do this? But this this is different though. Um, yo, met fives, when you use your raise drive. Your rage is gone. Your rage is, is out of there. It's, it's gone. But when you use one of the seven rage drives in Tekken 8, and you're in rage, your rage doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> oh, man. What do you think about Law? Is he going to be strong with heat? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. He dash, I guess I can. Wait, you guess you can interrupt? Not a heat dash. You ain't. You you're not gonna interrupt that. You're not gonna interrupt that on block. Of course not on hit, cause you're gonna get launched. Yeah. So just think about just think about that real quick, chat. Like, man like how how are people going to use this stuff in high level play if whatever we're seeing now is is what's final if they like keep everything like they keep all these mechanics you know they're not going to change it guys they're not going to say oh we, we we deleted heat engagers yo yo guys we we heard the backlash 
chip damage is gone. <laughs> we we heard the, the, the cries of the community. We're going to stop all the stuff that's making Tekken 8, Tekken 8. We're going to delete all this. And in, um, in the final build, it's, it's just going to be Tekken 7. Nah, this stuff is here to stay. Because if you listen to their to their reasoning, then it's gonna make it easier for, for the casual audience to, to understand who has a shift in momentum. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, chat. Oh yeah, this, this stuff is here to stay. Ship damage. The, the recoverable gauge, heat burst, heat dash, heat smash, heat engager. All of that is here to stay. Best believe it. Best believe it. Yeah, you guys, uh... <laughs> you remember when people were complaining about Tekken 7 and Rage Arts? Did they ever take those out? Yeah, change can be good, Sniper Trey. It isn't always good. Change can be good. Yeah, the wording is everything. Change isn't always good. That's why they say some things change for the worse. Some things change for the better. But we won't know until we see like the final product and how all this stuff is uh, implemented. What all new moves everyone gets, um, like what what the final game is going to be, because I think that's what's gonna really like make or break Tekken Eight. What you could do about it as a video game, like what what can you do in Tekken Eight besides one on one versus mode, one on one online. So if they add some more different like features to the game, they buff the customizations, you know, add tech and force, do something like similar to Street Fighter Six with a like a world tour or something online where you get to see everyone in the lobby, you know, a little cool stuff. Play a beat 'em up game like through there. Play Tekken Force through there. Tekken Ball mode and Tekken Bowling. Even though I never played that a day in my life in this game, but. Yeah, bring back all of that cool stuff for a casual player. And for, you know, people who just love Tekken. Bring all that stuff back. Make it a, a complete video game, not just a straight-up fighting game. Then that will be that will make Tekken 8 a um like a revolutionary Tekken. Because um, right now in Tekken 7, this is probably the most boring Tekken game in a long time. Because you can't do anything on this game but fight people and do Tekken bowling mode. And you had to wait to even do that. When was that? Season 2? Season 3? Tekken Bowl? Yeah, then you got the, the trap. Oh. Don't don't you guys say no story mode. That story mode was whatever. You said that was season one? Okay, okay. <laughs> Free frame data. <laughs> that would be nice too. I'm sure it's gonna be in a game from the from the jump. And that's when you guys are gonna cry. I'm gonna cry with you. When we see how plus heat dash is on block. Or like heat engage on hit. But yeah, that, that stuff is looking um pretty pretty scary. I'm not going to lie to you. It looks pretty scary. Because uh, right now, from what it looks like, and we're probably going to see it at EVO Japan with the uh, Alpha build. Whoever plays with Paul or Kazuya, whoever, they're going to learn their five engagers. They're going to learn the five heat engage moves. And they're going to mix those mids up with hell sweeps with demo mans and people like i'm not gonna duck and get launched oh no i'm gonna just eat the low every time so then it's just gonna be free lows 
because you get multiple opportunities to go mid. What if they bring the hunter from Bloodborne? It'll probably be an Elden Ring character. Freaking um, Godfrey. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover today, guys. Hopefully you um enjoyed the uh, stream. One last time, everyone hit the like button for me. Run the numbers up. So we can get more people to see this video. I'm going to have to um, see if I can like do a, a timestamp or something like that. Man says, Sir Gideon. Huh? But um, yeah, hopefully hopefully you guys understand the uh, the heat system as it is now. Because um, that, that is definitely alarming. I still don't like it. I still don't like it. Yeah, because I, I'm not I'm not a fan of, of free 50-50s. Where the mid is just oh my goodness cheese. Okay, that's just plus nine. With super pushback. Okay. Who's the seven people that disliked? Yo, you guys can dislike. That's that's still um that's okay, I guess. Haters. But, um... Yeah, everyone hit the like button. Not dislike. <laughs> you said you see six? That's right, you can, like, unclick it or something, right? But, yeah, hopefully that, that shed some light on that, that trailer. We had to take a, a real good look at this and analyze exactly what the heat system is. I don't know about you guys, but I, I understand it now. I really understand it now it's just that it's going to be a matter of getting the game getting your hands on the game and seeing what works best see what works best because um yeah free 50 50s everyone getting the claudio raise drive for better let me let me look at this real quick let me look at this real quick Yo, yo, met, yo, met pies. I understand. You don't, you don't agree with me. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> that is totally fine, dude. How you do this? This is just plus seven, and he can still do this uninterrupted. He can do that uninterrupted right now. I don't even know the finish. I think it's yeah, three, four. Yeah, that's uninterruptible. So if that's uninterruptible right now, imagine overwhelming advantage in Tekken 8 with heat dash or with heat engage. That's what I'm saying. That's that's pretty busted. And just because everyone has it doesn't mean that it's, you know, quote unquote balanced. Because while everyone may have the mechanic, it's 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 raise drives all over again. It's raise drives all over again with this game. And it's just a different way. You know how some characters raise drives are better than others, like this one. It's not gonna be the same because I'm looking at the bigger picture I'm looking at after certain things are blocked then what then it's gonna be a matter of balance and like with lows and, and mids we already know that the mid heat engages are gonna be cheesy they're plus on block with with the mid heat engage accompanied by the the heat dash we already know that but when we start to talk about balance here it's gonna be a matter of who has a, a hell sweep or not so um that's that's exactly what i'm thinking guys but are we really thinking this we literally just saw it we saw paul he has a demo man regular and he has a heat smash demo man that's that's too strong lows to encourage people to start ducking after heat dashes after heat engage 
So I got Claudio here. What if he's in the game? I mean, after you block his stuff, this is what you have to worry about. Let me let me turn the rage off. He does this. Ha ha. <laughs> Oh, I'm never gonna duck. Why would I duck? Why would I duck after he does he dash when he has access to hop kick whatever other launcher that he has from standing and and five mid heat engages that will be plus on block when you do heat dash afterwards. Why would you ever duck? It'll be crazy to duck, right? So Paul on the other hand, he has demo man, he has heat smash. He has he gives you a reason to duck. But you know the steel steel is imbalanced so far. Yo, what's up, Fighting GM? Yo, shout outs to Fighting GM. Nah, this is the legend of, of Fighting GM, man. What's going on? Yeah, he's one of the most hardworking YouTube creators on, you know, you know, on the Tekken side, fighting GM. Yeah, you guys give him a uh, follow. Yo, let me let me see the the link for GM's channel. While well, we got everybody up in here, let's let's follow his YouTube guys. Let's run those numbers up. Yeah, because he does post pretty good content, and those food reviews are amazing. For sure let me uh let me find the link here help out one of the homies yeah you guys you see this link i just posted click that link hit that subscribe button and let's come back here. He's only the best lead player on the planet. Well, let me correct that. He's the best lead player ever to exist in this universe, the next universe, all the verses, the multiverse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have to, yeah, you have to let me correct myself. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah, telling someone that the current best isn't enough. You got to tell them that they're the best ever. You know, like the Michael Jordan of Lee players. Sorry for your bad English. Yo, don't apologize for that, Sizzoff. You're good, bro. My English isn't the best either. Heat system, you change your mind about it? What do, what do you think about it, uh, DM? I don't like it. Cause I think it's I think it's gonna be like super imbalanced for the characters that have you know unsealable lows that sweep. Yeah, I think it's gonna be real cheesy for them. Cause we already know all the mids, all the all the mid heat engages are gonna be across the board. Everyone's mid heat engage is gonna be a, a mid launcher that's plus on block. If you do the the heat dash after it, of course. But. The freaking, like, after, after they block is what I'm concerned about. Like I said, what what's King going to do? A down three or something? Like, no. You didn't know you only lose chip when you're in heat? Heat smash gets rid of your heat gauge. Yeah, yeah, of course. All of that is a management issue. Like with the heat smash and stuff. All of that is, is meter management. And if you play other fighting games that have meter, that, that that won't be an issue of when is the perfect time to do a um a heat smash. But I'm saying like after heat dash, after heat engage, what what is the scary low option for each character? That's why I said it's, it's going to, that's what's going to create, you know, some, some imbalances. Demo man, hell sweeps. Um, some characters got launching lows. I ain't talking about snake edges. I'm talking about like a fang wave side step four where you got to sit there and look at it. 
Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. What if Delva Gen's on the game? Oh my goodness. Regular Gen. Those hell sweeps. Ooh wee. What about King's Grab for Mix? I don't see that's that's different. Yo, yo, Met. Yo, Met Peace. Yo, look at this. Look at this. Look at look at this. This is this should explain everything. Okay. <laughs> now look at these three options here, Met Met Fees. I did not block low. I got hit. 40 damage gone. Possibly 44. Didn't block low. Okay. I didn't block low. I got grabbed. And I didn't break it. That's too many. That's too many um, sequences. Problem solved. You broke the throw. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What about this one, Ben Feast? Oh, you can duck the throw. <laughs> now, we know sidestep is probably not going to work during the uh heat dash on block from a from a heat engage or a heat dash sidestepping is gone you're too too much at a disadvantage we already know this throws have too many weaknesses throws have too many weaknesses i don't want king's throws to be the best thing he gets from from a heat dash you can break those you can break a throw if you don't block a low You just got hit. <laughs> you just got hit. That's the difference, Matt Fees. Or whoever else that's um advocating. Oh, King got to, you know, a good good throw game with King. Good good throws. He can he can throw you after the heat dash. I'm like, I'm looking at things in a in a distance. I'm looking at things into the future. I'm fighting Nii, or I'm fighting against GM. I'm fighting against Shinblade, you know, someone who knows how to fight King. They gonna laugh at me if if throws are my answer after my plus uh, heat engage or, or heat dash on block. They gonna laugh. Oh, I'm gonna do a giant swing. They can break out of that backflip and we're back at square one. My my heat is, is losing, it is depleting. But if I had freaking Paul, uh, you gotta respect. You gotta respect this demo man. You gotta respect this death fist. You have a reason to duck. I hope y'all understand what I'm talking about here. Grabs can be broken, they can be ducked. Lows can only be ducked. <laughs> In that situation, you're not gonna crush that. It's too, it's too advantageous. It's too plus. You're not gonna low pair your um, low block, as far as we know. Yeah, so if you're a poke character, exactly, GM. That's what I was saying. If you're a poke character, it's, it's not going to um, it's not going to be good for you. That's why I said the, the balancing issue of this, since we all got seven raise drives now. Since we got seven raise drives, they took out the official raise drive. Instead, they, they put seven of them behind the heat mechanic. And if you're already in rage, they just get stronger and you... You get to keep your rage. <laughs> so everyone that was rejoicing for rage drives being gone, you know, go and run your head into a wall or something. I don't know because that's they 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 took those away and multiplied them. Are grabs breakable on punish? Yes. Yes, they are. Yes, they certainly are. Hold up. Let me show you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that would be cool if you couldn't, but nah. What is Dragon off using for? It's 50 50. Yeah, he's got down two. 
He's got down too. I think Dragonoff has that um he has that other move um guess exactly what Doobie is saying. So you're guessing someone like me. Hold up, like Lee's hit stuff would be counter hit based stuff. Well, Lee will be well the way you do it, GM. You will be able to do a slide before they recover. Yeah, I think slide character is gonna be good after he dash, because you can do those instant slides and they can't do nothing about it but block or get hit. Yeah, plus Lee has a um. Miss trap. That's definitely gonna be a thing you have to look at. You said nah down back three is reactable? Kinda yeah, it, it kinda is. But I'm saying at least Lee has a slide. At least he has something more than just pokes. See, I'm playing Claudio right now and his his lows like what is he gonna do? What's so threatening? This where you have five mids that launch? Nah, I'm good. Are you gonna be competing? Yeah, I'm gonna be competing. To be honest, what about if you could do heat dash after his one plus two? You might be able to. I mean, the, see the thing is about the, the mid, like the mid heat engage moves, where you can actually do a heat, ga um, heat dash I'm okay with that. That's that's gonna be across the board. Everyone's gonna have strong heat engage, strong heat dash. That's fine because those are mids, they, or they turn into launchers or whatever. That's fine. That's actually pretty balanced. But what's not balanced is like I said, it's it's after, the after, after they block, or after like we saw Paul, he did death fist. To initiate a heat engage, which you can only do on hit. So you will punish some with a death fist. You activate heat engage. You close the distance. That's the that's the after. Cause then he can just do death fist again. Then heat dash cancel. And remember, if you whip punish with a death fist in neutral, go to heat engage. You get two heat energy bars. Meaning you get two heat dash possibilities. So, um, yeah, the after is important. Yeah, he dash into a full crouch mix. Yeah, Anna can do that. But Anna's lows are, uh, like, down four at four is pretty chunky, but still not enough to, to make you duck. But, yeah, those instant, like the Paul Demo Man, um, Hell Sweeps from Mishima's Lars, Slide Characters, Steve down back 3-2, yeah, people with those type of lows, they are going to eat. <laughs> they are going to eat really well. They're going to eat steak. <clears throat> yeah, because they actually give you a reason to, to want to risk ducking a plus on block mid launcher. Yeah, because we saw Paul, he, he has like a Terry, um, Terry Bogart power dunk. It's real fast. And when they show Law block it, that was kind of questionable. It looked like that was plus on block even without a heat dash. So yeah, we'll we'll just have to wait and see like exactly what is what. But um right now heat is um it's not good. How long did you walk to Tekken God? I have yo what? Hey, what is the what is the combo? I, I don't have a clue. Um, Sizz off? I have no idea, bro. It'll probably be fun. It'll probably be fun. But we know, like, I, I don't think there's gonna be a real, like, consistent 
winner with tournaments with that game. And I think it's also going to be very, um, it's going to be like this game. Everyone's going to be playing with the same characters in tournaments. Paul is looking very strong already. He's looking super strong. <clears throat> what do you think the best king is going to get after that dash? Yeah, I already, I already went over that one, Facio. Like, he ain't going to do the heat dash and do an alley kick. <laughs> yeah, King is gonna do heat heat dash be B plus whatever and do down back three. Four four neutral to eat like trash trash options. Very trash. Yeah, the heat is it's not looking good for King at all. Yeah, he looks very, very weak with the heat. Unless, like I said, we, we see some new moves. Maybe Alley Kicks got reanimated. Maybe they're good or something. Maybe this hurts more or something. Maybe he gets a just frame. Maybe some lows change in heat. Maybe maybe this is one of his um heat engagers. Probably not. We'll see. You think that Law Nunchuck are gonna launch Duckers? Nah, it, it looks like it. Cause they did it in the video where he just did it without the heat. It just knocks you down. But in heat, if he does a uh, heat dash, it is a launcher. You spin. So, um, yeah, but like I said, I, I, don't, want, I don't want any broken crap. <clears throat> What's a just frame? That's when you hit a button at the right time to do a follow-up. So you, like if you just mash it, a lot of times it won't come out. That's not a, this is not a true just frame. I think King has only one, which is his, um, um, what you call it? The, the kick reversal. Then yeah, that, that's a true just frame. You have to hit the button at the correct frame for a follow-up to come out. Yeah, Lee Lee is a better example for that. Like his mistrap is a true just frame. You said you think the nunchuck I thought I thought he did the um I thought he did a, a heat dash after that. But if it just straight up launches in heat, then that's crazy. Okay, if it just launched, then then that's what that's what they meant with like the the character personalities and characteristics and stuff like that. Their their moves will be better. Like King's um running whatever that crap is is a um you know heat armor. That's something specific to him. Law's nunchucks are specific to him. So, wow, they didn't even show what Paul can do. Because they, they show Paul, that little power dunk that Paul has. That wasn't one of those um, characteristics. That wasn't one of those moves. So, geez, what is Paul going to do? He has the, the guard break? Oh, yeah, he did, he did. Okay, okay. Yeah, see, I'm forgetting stuff already. Yeah, Paul has the guard breaks. Law has the launching noon chucks. King has a running power crush that sucks. Um, I guess Nina has guns. <laughs> no, nah, she, she was doing that anyways. Kazuya turns into the devil. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? They didn't remove homing moves. Yeah, tell them, Shinblade. Yeah, yeah, the heat armor. That sucks. Ugh, I wish they did something different with King. If that's, I hope that's not his only one. Yeah, I do not want that running into a breakable. Now, if the throw is unbreakable, it's good. 
If it's breakable, it's not good. But now the the homing streak is not a. Um, it doesn't have this little white sparkle. It's actually green, like a green circle. But um, yeah, Shinblade, are you streaming? Yeah, I'm about to get off. Chad, it's been great. Been um analyzing the new heat system with Tekken 8. I think we all have a great understanding of it now. And it's so far it's not looking good for characters that have like pokes and they don't have hell sweeps. And it's looking really great for characters that do. So um we're just gonna have to wait and see what they do. So um hopefully hopefully we get a bunch of new moves to where it's you know pretty fair and balanced. Even though the heat system in and of itself is pretty silly for Tekken, but I digress. They made things more complicated for newbies. Way more complicated. So, um, yeah, you guys have a great one. Going to um, see exactly who is like streaming right now, if I can raid or, or whatnot. But, um,. Oh, wow, nobody. All right, well, I'll see you guys next time. Good night. Peace.